Cameron, and this is the conduit. All right, y'all, it's Friday. Hit the horn. Hit the horn. Friday night, Cameron's Kitchen. We're going to turn up tonight as we normally do, back by popular demand. Why don't you go ahead and look in the camera there? Miss Sabrina. Sabrina is back. How you doing, Sabrina? I'm great. No, You're waving that knife around. People are afraid. Be afraid. Stay afraid. Ooh, uh. <laughs> so normally, Miss Kendra would be here on Friday. We get Sabrina two days in a row. Thursday and Friday. Was it? Was it yesterday for breakfast? You know what? I think it was. Seemed like a week, huh? No, I didn't. No? It did to me. <laughs> it was a long week. Leave me alone. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how you doing, Mr. Dent? How's everything going? Say we looking good, sounding good? Good evening. <laughs> yep, things have changed. It's definitely been a long day. We've made... Uh, the studio has changed up a little bit, not 100% done. So we'll be working on that over the coming days. You can see my camera <laughs> is, is not right. It's a little too low, so I got to work on the camera. Uh, but we're getting everything right. But tonight is catfish, fried catfish, right? Yes. What else? We got that mac and cheese. We got some yams in that. Uh, and some collard greens. Mm. Oh, and some. Uh, don't forget the cornbread. Don't forget the cornbread. You put you putting the honey on that cornbread? Yes, sir. Uh oh, she said. Stephanie said, "Get your cook on, hon." Yes. She's on her tippy toes while she's cutting the the sweet potatoes. What happened? I said you were on your tippy toes trying to cut them sweet potatoes. Don't lie to them. I'm watching you. I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I can see it. Kind of. You struggling over there? Ain't nobody struggling. Uh-huh. You see, she's trying to cut them now. So she's getting her chop on. Definitely going to be delicious. Unfortunately, there's not as many collard greens as we thought we were going to have because Man. someone paid for two more bushels, bunches, whatever you call them. Right on out the store without getting it. Without the, without the bushels or bunches of collard greens. But she was smiling when she left the store, so I guess that's all that matters. Yeah, it's because I was squishing the uh, <laughs> sushi, so that's what caught my attention at that moment. Sushi? We're not having sushi for dinner. No, but when I went to the store, I had gotten sushi, and so I had re like I was just telling the lady, "Hey, I'm gonna go get two more. So can you 
you know, charged me for two extras. It's like, great. Okay. Pick it up on your way out. Okay. And then like, she was ringing up the sushi and I was like, oh, ha ha ha. <laughs> I had thrown the milk in the cart and it squished the sushi. I didn't even consider that poor sushi. And then we were laughing and we were giggling. And next thing you know, I was in the car without the other collard greens. Man, let me come in there and fix your camera because you're not even on the other camera. That's fine. Well, they're just looking at your back. Oh, yeah. That ain't always the best view. <laughs> but the sushi was pretty good. We needed a snack to, you know, get going, boom, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, you like way over there, huh? There she go. Well, I'm about to come back. I was just cutting this up real quick. Yeah. Looks like you're cutting it in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> People want to see what you're doing. Want to see the look on your face when you're slicing through them veggies. No, they don't. Whoa! She's a little aggressive with the knife, as you can see. My fingertips are starting. Oh, you hide, you hide the candle, girl. No, nobody hiding. What, what's tonight's candle? Today's candle is a little bit of a citrus. What is it called? Citrus breeze? No, this is the citrus, citrus sunrise. It's got three colors. Layla would definitely love this one. Please go to aisle psych. They ain't sponsoring, so we ain't advertising. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> it's a true story, but still. See, that's why the camera needs to be back that way. <laughs> I mean, it is a true story. You know. So it's Friday night. It's Friday night. Been a long week. But we made it through another one. As soon as I get this other camera going, I will uh, show you. Oops, show you the how the studio changed. Oh wow, the camera just fell off the thing. Dang, I got one chance now. Shout out to Rob and Monkey ooh, ooh. for helping to reorganize the studio. Want to change things up as we leave out of winter and go into spring. I don't know when winter's going to come, but, you know, whenever it gets here, we're going to be ready. Please, not. Hey, I know y'all heard my show yesterday talking about when I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to need a full thing of paper towels because this one done run out. Man, it's like that already? Yeah, it ran out. You might need to just bring your own paper towels when you come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Whoop. If you're going to be going through them like that. Sorry. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, now that camera ain't even on. Clean the up. camera fell over. Clean. What? What fell over? The camera. All right. Why is this acting a fool? Yes, like I said, it was a long week. Man, that camera just catching everything. Yeah. Well, it fell. Oh, you saw yourself with the broomstick? Yeah. It's not even a Halloween. What are you gonna be for Halloween? You gonna be a witch? A witch now, huh? Huh? Whip. Well, you had the broomstick. I'm gonna be Catwoman. And you got a ponytail. <laughs> Is that the sound that Catwoman makes? <laughs> She's probably like kind of, you know, like sexy or something. And that was not. Sexy. <laughs> not, not even close. <laughs> it sounded like a constipated Catwoman. Ooh, gotta love a clean kitchen, some good vibes. Hey, you wanna uh, shut that curtain so people can't see that backstage? You know? I said that camera's catching me. Oh, man. Uh-huh. Well, missing you. For some reason, it's not very clear, though. You know what I mean? All right, so where, what camera is where? Because I can turn this a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Get it get it on to you, girl. No. Wait, Ooh. where are you going with the camera? Are you trying to show the food? Yeah, I'm about to talk about it real quick. All right, so in this pot, we got them collard greens that I... Freshly washed and cut. We got some ham hocks there. Ham hocka? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to need a different spoon because that spoon was like... Bending? No, ma'am. Couldn't handle it? Yeah. So we got some ham hocks. This still needs... I, I try to start some of this because it's a lot going on. It's going to need a lot of time. I'm probably going to have to cover it. We got some um, red peppers. I don't know if you see the red peppers. We got a little bit of a red pepper, some onions... I don't usually throw bacon bits in there. I usually make fresh bacon, but I put some bacon bits in there to give it the same type of flavor. 
Right. I also used um, a little bit of this Creole seasoning. Oh, you can see me too over there. I used, what did I use? Dang. Oh, okay. I used um, some red peppers. Okay. Oh, you, you making it spicy, huh? Yeah. Some red peppers. <clears throat> I think I, I should be some eating garlic powder. Bad. And I put a little bit of vinegar. Nice, nice. So, do you um, you got to rip it off of the off the stem, right? <laughs> <laughs> you rip it off the stem. The who? Sh wow. She's she's having a show by herself for a little bit. Yes, I did. So it came, and I wish I could have kept it, but I just was a little bit too anxious that it wouldn't be done correctly. If I had so many eyes on me at the moment. So I went ahead and washed them and cut them and uh, started that. Don't be scared. Oh my God. <laughs> and then in this pot that's not doing anything. What happened we in that pot? Chopped up um, squirrels. <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> we got some chopped up. Um, Sweet potatoes. All right, I like that. that. I'm going to um, boil down, and then we're going to pop them into the oven. I got some mac and cheese noodles that have been boiled, and I am going to get ready to do what you do with some mac and cheese. For sure, okay. for sure. I like it. We're going to do what we do. Don't start, girl. All right, so, you know... I want to know. I'm pretty sure other people want to know. You know what made you uh, decide to make this meal? Because it's like Christmas in, you know, you say Christmas in July, but it's only March. Okay. So you know what? I was gonna blame it on all on you, but to be honest, the thought that comes to mind is like when I go to Richmond, Virginia, we go to this spot called um, Shoot. I can't even advertise because. I don't remember the spot. It's in Richmond, <laughs> okay. Virginia. All right. And it is so bomb. And you get some collard greens and you get some mac and cheese. And you get like this bomb catfish. And it's a really cute, classy, like jazzy type of place. Like it's a jazz type of atmosphere. And oh. it's, it's bomb. So that sounds like my kind of spot right there. It would be. I know. I think you would. Yeah. Do you got to dress up? I mean, you probably bit. could. It's, you know. Oh, did people, were people dressed up in there? You know, I look regular. Okay, there's like a... I didn't say you, I said people. Well, I came in the, you know, I don't know. No, I wasn't worrying about other people. I might not want to show up basic, you know what I'm saying? I might want to turn up a little bit. I think you'd be okay. Yeah? I could just go how I was, though. Was it like nighttime? I asked my sister, what, what's the uh, restaurant called? Dang. No, it wasn't nighttime, it was early, right before my flight, and I had brought some catfish home, too, which, you know... I'm from Virginia. That wasn't all that. Did you say you ate it on the plane? No, I brought it home. Fish on the plane? What are we going to do with these m and and snakes? No, that sounds good, though. You know I like jazz. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a, and I, I wish we can look. If you want to look it up once I find, figure out what the name is. Mm -hmm. um, that'd be cool. Because well, it, I mean, legit I can look it up, spot. but it's not like I can go. Why not? Don't you have family out in Richmond or in Virginia? You know what? You're right about something. I cracked my tooth. <laughs> no way. Yeah, trying to pull that USB thing out. I know you are not on I, the I, podcast I, right now talking about you cracked your tooth. I did. They can't see me. They can't see you either. Now you're not in the kitchen. Oh, man, I got to go back to the dentist. I cracked my bottom tooth. No wonder why I said ooh for a reason. I said mm -hmm. ooh. I said I don't know why I just made that noise. So what happened was um, one of the uh, remote camera devices had the USB broke off inside. So instead of grabbing a pair of pliers, I decided to use my teeth. Well, I paid for it. I actually cracked my tooth on the inside on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to go to the dentist. That's all right because I missed my dentist appointment in in December. 
So I'm just trying to hit my people up and, you know, it's just to see my, niece and my sister-in-law just to see, hey, what's that place called? I can't remember. It's like, I feel like it starts with a C, but I can't quite remember. C for catfish, maybe? Like, it's called a, it's like a simple but cool name or something. It's really? like, we went to Boom, you know, we went to Boom. Drop it to camera so it was showing. You came in here and just switched it all crazy. Maybe what? <laughs> oh, maybe you didn't want them to see? <laughs> oh, man, one of the candles went out. It's dead. So I got to try and get a top to this because although the greens are cooking down just the way I like, we need them ham hocks to cook too. Should we keep this one? Huh? You want to keep this glass? Oh, yeah, sure, because uh, you got new candle stuff, right? You make candles? We ain't we, we announced that yet. Oh, I didn't. You did. Uh, I didn't say anything. I didn't either. This is almost gone, too. All right. Well, well. we're just saying you bought those new candles called the uh, Citrus Sunset. <laughs> you know you're on the mic, right? They mm -hmm. can still hear you. You can't tell secrets on the live show. I don't like secrets, period. <laughs> well, maybe because you're so bad at them. That's not really actually funny. And I'm laughing well, like it was hilarious. Well, All right, so what I'm going to do is start putting these noodles up in here. I'm going to cut up some um, butter. Chop, chop. I'm going to put some butter in here. What, you about to DMX the, the noodles? Yeah. I'm going to add some milk. I'm gonna add the noodles, I'm gonna add an egg. And I'm, I'll actually probably need two of these. So I'm gonna do this to two things. Cause I made two pounds of noodles because you know, sharing is caring. Nice. Hey, now do you put eggs in your mac and cheese? You know what, sometimes I do. I take one egg and I mix it around up in there. And... I know my dad used to. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah, Stephanie, you put, uh, I don't you know put eggs in your mac and cheese? I do not always. It just depends on how you feel. Yes. How do you want it? How do you feel? <laughs> now some Tupac, huh? You're in a special place tonight, are you? Now earlier. Milk. Oh, maybe I should learn what you're doing. I'm going to um, put half of this in here because it's like kind of a small pan. I'm probably actually going to need like two or three. Hey, what is this here? What is this? I don't know. Mm. Just like, I would say close. Yep, I close that. Let me, I need to send him a copy of that. All right, let me see what's happening with this camera here. We want this camera to work, you know? This thing is on. Oh, you know what it is? Hmm? This is probably the wrong receiver. Ha, ha, ha. Bam. All right. I got an app for that. So while he fixed that, I'm going to do my little egg magic. We're going to make sure there's no shells in there. And, uh, man, lately you just have not been liking that microphone. Huh? I mean, that uh, them headphones. The headphones? Yeah. I can't wear the headphones if I'm moving around. But you know what? I should be able to connect my AirPods, huh? Yeah. Or do you have portable headphones? Uh, like my AirPods? <laughs> the AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix this egg in here with the milk and the butter. Yeah, I, I do have some AirPods. I could try that. You know, I've never tried that with the show. That might be pretty cool, though. I mean, you move around a lot, so it's like... And but you need to hear when something only in here. You need to hear what's going on. No. Let me see if I do that. Oh, let's see. Let's see if we got joy. Let's see if we got joy. Um. Rob, ask Stephanie if she puts egg in her mac and cheese. Everybody's oh, sooky, sooky now. A delightful evening. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. Let's go to camera four here. Let's get our zoom in. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I say, what do we have? Oh, the zoomer. <laughs> the zoomer? Okay, well. So they can, they can see me. 
and they can see you in the kitchen. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nice clear picture. We can zoom in on what she's doing. Let's, let's get in. Let's go a little tighter on that pot there. Ah. And this phone is like nonstop. I should be on silent anyway. I just want to take a break, you know. Shoot, I'm just mixing all this up and got step to the things. side so we can see what oh you're mixing. Gosh, I got some. Step, to, step to your right, girl. Step to my right. There you go. Look, she got what's in that pan to the left. What's to the left, right here? Yeah, right in front of you. Yeah, what's that? Collard greens. That's the sweet potatoes. That, that it's gonna. I should have started that already. Actually, take take your lid off the collard greens. Let's see what's happening up there. Okay, hold on, hold up. I like to clean as I go. Would you put some blood on the floor like Kendra? No, I dropped some macaroni noodles. Ooh, you might have to tilt it a little bit. We, it, it's too deep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. There you go. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Ooh. There we go. And you see she's working on those uh, mac and cheese noodles there. It's going to be a feast. Yeah, but I don't want to touch those beans anymore because I'm trying to get the ham hocks to... Get oh, together. you put ham hock in there too? Yeah, I need them to get together. Ooh, that's what I'm talking I about. Need them ham hocks to get the. Thing. Wait, wait, wait. So tell tell us again. What what made you cook this? Why did, why this meal? Because uh, I mean, it's like Christmas. Let's see if I anybody. <laughs> why did we, was it supposed to be? Am I saying the right thing? I, I don't know. Are you saying the right thing? I don't know what you uh, supposed to be saying right now. Um. So you know what? Uh, I had just cooked yesterday, and you were like, you know what? Do you mind uh, cooking tomorrow? I was like, you know what? I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just kidding. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, I'll do that. And, uh -huh. uh, you know, we were trying to pick out some food. And you are like, let's do some seafood. And I was like, you know, let's do a seafood boil or something. And then I ran over. Well, we were like seafood, Chinese. We yeah, would we go did, through. And I just ended up making <laughs> choosy, pretty much. I didn't really give you a choice. I tried to give you a choice. You just said, mm, good. And I ran with it. Because the catfish looked delicious. And like I said, it reminded me of when I went to Virginia. So is those, are those the sides you ordered when you got it? Yeah. It comes with like... I don't even remember. What, how long was it? How long ago was it? Like, uh, like three or four years ago that I went. You're asking me like I was with you. No, you weren't. I know. So you like, how long ago was I it? Went, I'm not sure. My six month old, when he was six month old, Jason. Mm -hmm. When I went out there, and then on the way home, they took me to Kroger's. Croakers? Croakers. Croakers? Croakers. It's in VA? No, Croakers. I have to ask my aunt about that. It's not Kroger's, because that is a grocery store out there. Shoot. So I, you know, Croak. Uh, shoot, it's like well, hey, what city was it in? <laughs> I just asked what city it was in. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, it was in uh, <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> oh, my aunt lives in Richmond. She might still be up. I might okay. need to text her and see. So if you want to look it up so that we can share with the audience, mm -hmm. it's called Croker Spot. It's a soul food of seafood, soul seafood. Um, I'm uh, Croker Spot. And, That's and another story. Richmond. Yep. And I said, I guess it says like soul of seafood, but all I had was the. Um, they got a menu. They got photos. Hmm. Appetizers. Don't see their website. No, though. no, 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 no. Right there. Richmond Real Eight Months. Uh or the top one. Oh no, 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 no. The top one took me to um uh, Facebook. Okay, go down. You ain't I look at their menu? No, no, no. Down, 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 down. Come on. I'm getting there. I'm there and you're not. Look. I, I was saying, do you, would you like me to click on the menu? Does it look like it? No. Buffalo shrimp? No. It's not what it looks like. Look, the menu looks like this. Look. Hmm. 
It's something you'd be like, oh, okay, girl. Can I try? I think it's right over there. This one? Right there. What are I like? Try the website. Try the website. Sorry. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't see There we go. What these some old people? Huh? What are you talking about? What? Are you sure that's what it is? Right there. Look, look, look. That's the rest. Look, look, look. All right, let me see. All right, let me put this on the screen for everybody. Brokers. Yeah, my my uh my auntie's in Richmond. I was there this summer. Ask her about it. I will in just a second. What does it say? Because they closed for a little bit, you know? Welcome back. Mm. Yeah, yes. Oh, they opened Friday. Oh, maybe they were closed when I was there. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it reopened in November. I was there in June. So that maybe that's why she didn't say anything. Yeah. You text her. I got to ask her about that. I'll get a text say, back. Say, Auntie, what you know about croakers? She'll be like, what you, what you know about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> what you know? All right, so I'm gonna mix in a couple of secret ingredients. You guys can judge, you can feel what you wanna feel. All I know is that when I take a bite, it tastes delicious, you know what I'm saying? How would they judge? I don't wanna judge. I know, but usually I like to keep my mac and cheese a little bit secret. Oh, well tell us the secret. I put cream cheese and sour cream to make it a little bit extra creamy, you know? Cream cheese and sour cream? See, it sounds disgusting, and most people are like, yuck. But then when you taste it, it's like, wow, that uh, was delicious. Uh-oh. I'm a little worried. I'm See? chewing this gum because I'm hoping that it would break the rest That's of my so chip tooth off. I should have never said anything, like, so proud like that because, like I said, it's a secret in gear. Girl, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you mean, no, 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 no? <laughs> For that reason. I think it's going to be delicious. I'm not tripping. Do I keep it a secret? For that reason. Man, this is gonna be weird. I mean, this is gonna be great. Come on. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Kool-Aid man. It's gonna be just fine. We can't wait. We're looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm far. doing this gum trying to break my, my chip tooth off so I can get all the you know jagged pieces off. So far we got milk, Every time I rub my tongue on it, butter, it's sharp, huh? You want me to put butter on my tooth? You really need your mic. Hmm? My mic? Yeah. Were well, you talking all soft like you in the library? <laughs> I said, <laughs> I put cream cheese, sour cream, butter, milk so far, and egg. And now let me add some of this cheese. I'm going to add some mozzarella. Mm hmm. Yeah, put some mozzarella on there, girl. Ooh, mozzarella. What what all you got a bunch of cheese over there? I'm gonna add some medium cheddar. Some medium cheddar? What else? I'm gonna add probably the whole thing of medium cheddar. The whole thing? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna add the whole thing. All right, all right. Because I got some other for the other. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna add some sharp cheddar. Mm, don't mind that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do a little bit of black pepper. I should have done that to the noodles before adding the cheese. Please season your noodles. Jeez. We'll add some black pepper. Boom, 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 boom. Adding a lot of black pepper. Just because that's what I'm feeling like doing today. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. Doom, 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 doom. You know, I wish you had your headphones on because then you can hear and be like, dang. Okay, so for some reason, we're low on garlic powder. You said for some reason we're low on garlic powder? Mm -hmm. I can actually hear you. I don't need to put my headphones on. I shouldn't need to. Okay, so I seasoned the mac and cheese, right? Mm-hmm. We're picking up what you're putting down. Okay. Oh, if you step to the left while you stir it, I can I can zoom in on that on that magic. I'm just trying to like mix it in the best that I can because it's about to melt anyways. Mm -hmm. You know? Scoot over one more one more step to your right. 
I'm left handed, remember? Oh, okay. Yeah, then that, that's perfect. That's perfect right there. Oh, there you go. Now talk about what you're doing. I'm mixing the cheeses, trying to mix the seasonings in. <clears throat> Oh man! I have to cover this with aluminum. Do I need to come and preheat the oven? I already did. I told you. I'm like just trying to get it going. You know. I like to get prepped. I like to make. Shit! I'm not good on time. I'm gonna say a good 20, 35 minutes. I don't know. I like to just. I ain't a good timer. Okay. You have to just look when you're cooking, and making sure that it look good and it look melted oh, and it looks on, put me, together. Let me, let me make it look like I did something. Boom. Ooh, look at that. Bam. You see that? You see that skill there? Do you? It's see? all in the wrist. Yes. Yep. It's all in you like that technique. The Bam. Flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. Bam. Ooh, I'm a natural. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I give it a little pat. So you're gonna make a couple pans. One more. Ooh, two two pans of mac and cheese. Y'all gonna eat good. Either tomorrow or Sunday. Y'all know who you are. Oh. You do. Okay. So I thought you said, I'm going to eat good tomorrow. Sunday. I was like, why you got to wait? Oh, no, I'm about to eat good tonight and tomorrow. You know, I like yes, leftovers. Okay. Yes. How long you want to uh, sit there for? Okay. Uh, we'll just put that in. I just will check it. Put like 15 minutes if you really, really want to. Like if you really, really is Alexa, bothering yourself. set a 15 minute timer. Yes. But I like to check it. Well, it might help. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't, I don't know how this stuff works. All right, now we get to see what you're doing. Make sure that camera looks good. Yeah, okay. we're doing it all. There you go. Time. Perfect. Right there. Perfect. Right there. On this side. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door before a raccoon tries to come in here. Yeah. The raccoons are serious. Cause you got those for real out there. I seen them with my eyes one day. Versus your ears. Just saying. Okie doke. What happened to that butter? Oh, I didn't even have a fireplace on. That's a violation. What happened? I didn't have the fireplace on. It's Friday night. You are violating all types of uh, and and no jazz music. Really tonight. tripping. Uh, let's just put the uh, noodles in. Let's see if it can do two pans. Oh, I was listening to some uh, guitar jazz. Oh, so good. Shoot. I hate making messes in the kitchen. I hate making messes in the kitchen. Not fun. Okay. This is going to be like a three hour show. Right, we're getting ready to uh, set up for the Listen. Race and Equity Summit. So texting back and forth with uh, Brother Daryl Riley. Go ahead and register, and you'll get to see us again, right? Correct? We yeah, be we'll there. be there covering the event. Saturday is $50. Sunday is free. We're also going to be sponsoring two people. So if uh, you'd like to go and just can't afford to, you can reach out to us, 360-373-3000. Um, it's going to be a great event. I think it will be. Yeah, I think it's going to be fantastic. Looking forward to it. Girl, you got the broom out again? What happened? I like just, that? I like keeping it clean. Oh, you just you just, just stopped with the camera, huh? You're like, I'm just going to block it. <laughs> You just gave up on it, huh? Got the cream cheese. Mm. Can you hear that jazz? You want some music in there? I do like that. Can you hear it? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I think I need my slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I think I need my slippers for this. <laughs> you like that jazz music? All right, it's hey, time. It's, it's Friday night. I got to, you know. It's time to get, get the slippers out tonight. 
all right, I'm doing the garlic powder again. You know, just seasoning up my noodles. Yeah, I put on the purple house shoes. I got you know? my little Johnny's. Some Johnny's. Now, what's the yeah. difference between Johnny's and Goya? Oh, you know what? You should have said that's. You should have said Johnny's and Lowry's. And Lowry. Well, what's the difference between Johnny's and Lowry's and Goya? Okay, well, Goya is the brand. Mm-hmm. You got Sasson, which is the seasoning. It's kind of plain. It's not really salty. You also got um, the adobo seasoning. That this right, is this would be the salt. Yeah, that's adobo seasoning. So this is just like salt. It's, it's salty, but it's a. Uh, um, you look. Let's look into the ingredients. The ingredients say salt, garlic, um, some other stuff that's weird, black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. Oh, there's turmeric in there. Yeah. Oh, that's why I like this. So good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sasson is like to me. It's for like the color. Oh, you're talking about this. Are you talking about this? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I have some other sets on in here, though. In the back, I got um, taco seasoning. So now I'm going to put the cheese because I went a little bit office. backwards this time, y'all. Excuse me. You're going to do it backwards? You're telling me to uh, give them some, like, show them something. But I'm blocking. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in your way. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> Would you put some of that over in there? I, oh, what is this? No, that's the Creole seasoning. Did I have this? No. I don't have Creole seasoning. Do you? I don't know. I got something that looks like that. You know what? Maybe I used it all. And when I say me, I mean somebody else. Because <laughs> it wasn't me. Dang, that's a lot of cheese. It's heaping. We like cheese in our That's what I'm talking about. Did you, did you make sure this cheese was fresh and not poison? Let me taste it. Make sure it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because the way you be doing that with food, like, hold up. Oh, no, girl. Did you? Oh, we cannot be cooking this unless we. All right, cool. It ain't poison. <laughs> I had to make sure that bacon was okay. You know, stuff happens. We don't want no one to get hurt. You know? It's serious. Oh, man. You know, I got to tell you, Mondays are my favorite day, but I love Friday night. I can tell. Yeah? Yeah, you've been really enjoying your Fridays. I do. Get to hang out with folks, cooking, music, candles. It's great. Get to relax, just chill. Did you, uh, we don't have a dessert, do we? We got pop. <laughs> we doing the uh, high school or college dorm dessert pockies. That's what we doing, and we might have started eating the pockies early. That won't. That won't no dessert. That was just my snack. That was a. That was a warm up. That was an appetizer. I should have brought um. Some what? Give me a minute. Oh, I forget the camera's there, and I'm all like glaring at you, giving you the side eye. Talking about some what? Okay, so we're gonna leave that there for a second. That goes there, or maybe I should wash it. I should wash that. Um, I should wash that. We should put this away. I'm doing great. I am. Thank I guess you. I should respond to people. I've been so busy. The mayor sent me a message today, so I need to respond to him. How is, how how is everything? Tell him I'm good. The fam is good. See? Wait, what? Oh, Coker spot, she said. She finally took it back. Okay. I'm going to, uh, if you don't mind, take this off for just a quick second. <laughs> She's really getting her whisper on, which is weird. All right. Yeah, man, I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying Friday nights, getting everything set. Looking forward to the weather changing, hopefully, here pretty soon. 45 degrees. Last few nights, it's been 30-something. And the severe weather shelter opened, so that was crazy. Done with it. And, I've, uh, of course, I'm doing a lot of research for a lot of different shows. And a little worried at what I'm seeing over there in China in relation to COVID. So... 
or we get to take our mask off in most places here in about four hours and 19 minutes. I don't think we're done with this thing yet. So I'm definitely concerned about that. You know what I mean? Let me finish responding to the mayor here. Uh huh. We were supposed to have you appear periodically on the conduit. to share so you know closed mouth don't get fed so if you want something you need something you need to ask for it right people aren't mind readers you know what I'm saying Sabrina I need some food she says I I come cook you some breakfast Sabrina I need some dinner. All right, what you want to eat? I don't know. Chinese. I don't know. Seafood. I don't know. You know what? We're going to do some catfish. Okay, cool. I'm in. That's what we got. And she was like, mac and cheese, collard greens. You know, Sabrina. We're a lot of likes. So she gets really excited. And she's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to turn up, turn up, turn up. Food, food, food. I'm like, all right, you got to put some yams with it. Yams? I'm like, yeah, we're going to put some yams. She's like, well, you know what? Because she knows I really like mashed potatoes, right? Especially hers, because she she peels them and makes them all good. She's like, well, look, if I'm going to do all this, I don't know about all the mashed potatoes. I'm like, well, okay, cool, because you're already making the yams. Huh? <laughs> you say, excuse me? <laughs> Do you want the curtains down? That's up to you. Because I tried putting them up, but it looks like somebody put them back down. Oh, that was me. It's weird. People can see inside. It's dark. You know what I'm saying? I want them seeing on my privacy. Well, just a little bit because then it just, you know, you got the air to flow. But what if you open up the slits in it? Wouldn't that work? You know, I didn't even put it up. Uh, I'm just saying, you do you. You're in the kitchen. You're the boss now. So I use the safe word. The safe word is strawberry banana. Banana? Strawberry banana. <laughs> a banana? <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, she comes through. So it's all good. Mm. So tonight is Earl Grey, double Bergman, extra caffeine in the tea. It's been a long week. So we got to sip on some nice, delicious hot tea. And then what I did is I... Try to put mine on ice because I'm trying to see if I can make it like an iced tea for the Bergmont so I can still get the caffeine. <laughs> okay. Wow. Sabrina, what you thinking? I'm just trying to get the rest of my little seasonings, you know, situated. Mm-hmm. Did something tickle you? Oh, um, no. It's like no? the tea looked, I mean. <laughs> the tea. I was going to say the uh, seasoning. Seasoning, I can't talk. It looked a little funny, but yeah, I should get. You don't have like a uh, metal spoon? I don't think you do. You know, I got those uh, really nice Costco pans, and somebody be coming over and scraping the bottom of my pot. You do. What did you? you? No, wait. What did you say? My Costco pots. Costco. What about it? Those are my pots and pans from Costco. They're really nice, and then somebody be coming over with a metal spoon all the time. I try to hide them spoons from you. No, because you'd be scraping the bottom of my pan. That's why I hide the spoons from you. And you still find them. Where's the metal one? Listen. Okay, you come over here every time I hear it. Look, I, I ordered some uh, steel core plastic spoons. There, there's no steel core ones in there? Cool. Wow. Well, I guess my pan just going to get scratched up. Then I can do about it. Only Stephanie says only buy silicone. Sabrina, yeah, girl. 
I'm Sabrina. Trying, but I don't know where you, you didn't lock the door. Who is that? <laughs> I, really, I really don't like you. <laughs> like, why would you do that? <laughs> like Stephanie said. Like, that was perfect. Because you try to scare me all the time. So she tries to scare me all the time. It sucks that you're a hater and I can't just like have fun scaring you all of a sudden. It never works. You've done it. Like, me every time. Like, oh, it never works. She tries to scare me all the time. It never works. But I can scare her all the time. I get her at the most random times, right? Like who the hell would be in the house in the in the <laughs> Are you left the door? Like, who the hell is that? Like, oh, <laughs> Oh, man. Why would she say, who is that in your own house? Like, is that your friend? Yeah. You still was about to get up out the kitchen. <laughs> like, I'm out of here. I don't know, because that's, that is scary. You got a back door. Like, you can that door back there. You don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but, but I got some, uh, you know, do not enter tools, you know. It's the wrong place to come up my back door. Plus, you got all the you got knives in there. You got everything you need to protect yourself. You got lasers on all the doors. Like, come in here. <laughs> That's you still and you, and you almost jumped toward the door. <laughs> no, I didn't. Which way did you jump? We we need yeah. to go ahead. Replay we need to put the, the footage. We need to put that in slow motion. We can play it back and say, "Hey, Sabrina, you left the door open." Who is that? And then watch you jump in slow motion. Who is that? Oh, uh, Alexa. It's 15 minutes. Yeah, well, I'm not going to check it. It should be fine. I'll check it in five minutes. How am I supposed to learn how to cook if this is the I'll conditions I'm dealing with? Alexa, Wow. turn off the oh. timer. Dang. Them uh. Is this bleach? So I make sure I put it on the food. What was that? Are you trying to poison me? I might be. Thank girl. You know, um, I would like to use that bleach tomorrow and next week. <laughs> there was quite a few sprays there. You should just pour it on the counter. That was quite a bit of uh, uh, bleach. Okay, just because you put the 15 minute order on, I will check it, but I don't think it's ready. Maybe I can mix it. And it's just this one anyway. I'm just not even going to Does it really it. cook that fast? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No. I said I ain't even going to look at it. I know. I'm just not a time person. I'm just like, you feel. You feel it like in your bones. And you're like, I think it's ready. That is so random. Hey, how long do you cook the mac and cheese? You just feel it in your bones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you're trying to help somebody, <laughs> you know, you just feel it in your bones. I've been I've been waiting. I didn't feel nothing. The, the macaroni cheese is black. The kitchen's on fire, and the house is smoky. <laughs> wow, really? You know I'm sensitive to that. Seriously? I was gonna say. Everybody don't have a mama. Okay. Well, if you ever had a, a parent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excuse me, we need to go to a commercial break now for a little bit so I can go cry in the closet. Seriously? No, don't cry. <laughs> like, if you ever had a mom or a dad that ever cooked really, really good and they just cooked good and you wondered how good they cooked and why they cooked so good, and that's me. You just feel it. <laughs> if you ever had that opportunity. You had a... You had a good dad. Don't play. I did. I did. I ain't lying. And his mac and cheese will I stop know, your heart. I can tell that you had. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you said, mom. You know what I'm saying? And then you laughed. That's what's so hurtful. It just tickles you. <laughs> wow. You're about to. See? Ooh, that was so good. I'm about to cry. <laughs> That's what I have right now. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for the emotional damage. It's not right. 
It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's fine? It's fine. <laughs> wow. This is what I'm dealing with. Oh, let me zoom out. That's a little too close on your face right there. Oh, it was. Good. There we go. Look at that. Boom. What's everybody doing tonight? I don't know. Stephanie, Rob, y'all still on? What you guys doing? It's hey, 7.52. It might be playing Destiny. Destiny? Or... Does Stephanie play? No, I don't think... Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah, she's, she's better than I am. She plays video games? Yeah. That's Why right. is that so weird? Did that look like a face of weirdness? You're what? like, she plays video games? And then you were like, that's tight. No, that sounds tight. Like, what? Like, an inspiring type of look. Like... Uh, we tried to get you in, but I don't have a system. It's awesome. Do you know how to do first person shooter? Huh? I don't know what any of the games you guys are talking about. I know like Halo. You know how to play Halo? Yeah. Are you good at it? Fortnite? No, no. I asked if you were good with Halo and then you came back with Fortnite. I never played any of these games long enough to get good. You know? I probably like tried it like, hey cousin or Hey, somebody, let me try that real quick. Boom, boom, bang, bang. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's how those things work. See, our conversations are very special. I'm not really sure how we are able to communicate and get through the day. Because, you know, I just said, she said, Halo. And I said, are you good? And then she said, the other game. Didn't answer the question. I'm just saying. Are you making a face? And so if that little camera wants to come over here, it can. If not, I'm going to get ready to. <laughs> yeah. Clearly the camera needs to go over there. So let me get the camera going that way. Is that, are you, are you trying to give me a hint? <laughs> if that camera Just wants making, to come over uh, here. What's this called when you do this? I'm lining little pans with the cupcake fillers. Nice, nice. To make, um... Cornbread muffins. Cornbread cupcakes. Oh, Rob just got back from Fred Myers and uh, Stephanie, and they're going to play Horizon Forbidden West. Ooh, tight. Hey, keep going to Fred Myers or Safeway because, and use your number, you can get the gasoline discount. Even though Fred Myers sometimes doesn't have the deals. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Also, I think Stephanie was telling me about um, Fred Myers and Safeway. That what about him? Sometimes. Anyway, sometimes you don't always get the deals, but if you have the app, you can get the deals. Yeah. Because sometimes they have coupons and stuff. Oh, you know what? I do Safeway, but I never go to the gas station that uses the Safeway point. If I'm the time I need gas, I need it, you know? I like putting bleach on that so the color comes off. That's what I was trying to do, but it's not working at the moment. Oh, you might just have to let it sit. Yeah, that is pretty, pretty orange. That's why you were spraying so hard. You know what? This looks like this is going to be a while. I'm going to eat a few more pieces of that sushi. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Man, I bit into some sushi earlier with some wasabi. You know I don't like spicy food. <laughs> Are you mocking me when I'm not looking? Actually, I'm just making farm bread. <clears throat> really? What's, on, what's this? Uh, what what'd you do with the sushi? Here we go. There we go. I didn't even put that. I didn't even touch the sushi. Well, how did it get in the fridge? I mean, you have hands. Did you wash these? Yes. Really? That looks kind of thick. Where? I think they're like that on the end. Are they? Yeah, this I'm is not water. Sure why. I feel they're it. clean. I feel it. Like, why is it like that? I did clean them. Oh, the ribs. Okay. Try to help, you know. Help it stay on. All right. She said she didn't want any because she didn't want to ruin her appetite. I'm going to just eat a few pieces of these. And I don't know. It's not really sushi. You know what I mean? It's like more like California rolls because there's this isn't like the raw salmon and stuff, right? Okay, but it's still sushi. Is it still sushi? Shoot, they roll it and they, and they do what they got to do up in there. i tell you what, though. It's good, and Layla loves this. Like, if it ain't sushi, what is it? Layla and I would tear this like up. I'm eating something fake, I don't want it. Yeah? Well, you know how to, like, you can get the really raw, raw, you know? 
Mm. No, I know what you're saying. I've had that too. And it's like, whoa. What was that? Okay. Rob says shop sales at both. Huh? What did you say? I can't hear you because you're like, because yeah, I'm eating like you taught me. Okay, what did he say? <laughs> he said, shop sales at both. You try to make your tongue twister while I'm trying to eat. So I'm just doing this um, cornbread. I did the eggs. I'm going to put in some, um, oh, gosh, some some of the toughest honey that I've ever ran into. What are you doing, the organic honey? So I think I'm going to put some in the microwave a little bit. Is that the organic? Yeah. Um, and it needs some milk, and you're supposed to measure it. Oh, this is going to be good. Can't wait. Mm. Got my little chopsticks. Okay, one third and one third it asks for, so that's what I did. And um, got a big piece I didn't melt that when it was safe. This is plastic, and now it's... Oh! <laughs> what happened? Uh-oh, we missed it. We, we got an accident in the aisle four. If we had a blooper, that would have been hilarious. Oh. oh. What happened? I'm so sorry. That's not funny. Because I really don't like making a mess, and I have to clean up honey now. Oh, my gosh. Honey is not easy to clean up, let me tell you. <laughs> Has this happened before? <laughs> no, I was like your honey was like the toughest honey I've ever ran into in my entire life. So I was trying to put it into the microwave and I was trying to like loosen it up a little bit, you know, like melt it down. Did you squeeze the honey all over the doors? No, 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 no. What happened was I just opened it and that honey said <laughs> But you're scrubbing the doors. Because it said <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I said, did the honey go onto the doors? Yeah, it went everywhere. It's like syrup. Honey isn't even honey anymore. You see the communication point. challenges that we have? I asked her, did it squeeze onto the doors? <laughs> and she said something totally different. <laughs> so I had to circle back around to ask the question again to see. Maybe she might answer the question. You know? It was like, did it happen before? No, it's just it's the toughest honey ever. We'll, we'll we'll spare you the cleaning of the honey. I don't think anyone needs to see that. There we go. What? Well, you know I don't. You know why I don't trip? You actually painted that kitchen, so you know. If you spill something on there, I don't trip. So. And you guys did a good job in there. You and Layla, did, uh, Layla put it down. She was so excited to paint. Ooh. That was hot too. Oh, what'd you just do? Get back in there. We miss it. We're missing the shots. What I did was drain those sweet potatoes. Oh, they're done? I think so. Yeah. I don't think this sushi is gonna make it till tomorrow. Mm. Oh shoot. <laughs> What a night. <laughs> what happened this time? Why am I even in the kitchen? So these might be some extra flavorful cornbreads. I Why? was like thinking that it was vanilla, but I, I didn't know you'd have anything extra. And I poured it. I'm like, this looks a little different. I said, it said pure almond extract. We about to have almond cornbread. Here goes the vanilla. Well, I let's put, just pour some more in there. I just put a little bit of vanilla, put some um, honey, and um, yeah, some brown sugar. I, I just like mine super sweet, you know. Sunday, Rob, when you come over, you might want to bring a loaf of bread. Nah, no way. Well, it could be an almond honey cornbread. It's gonna. Be you might have just invented something new. Period. You know what I'm saying? 
It's gonna be good. That's what I'm saying. You just invented something. It's gonna be good. I'm just that was funny. Sabrina's almond honey or honey almond. Which way? Which way you gonna go with it? That's all. Hmm. I just make myself laugh. Is all like how am I like? Oh shoot! Like how did I not know that? Mm -hmm. I just figured. I didn't know. You know, I don't keep almond extract in my cabinet, so I just thought you had like a bunch of vanilla up there. Because I would need multiple bottles. Because why? Because sometimes it's like the fake vanilla, the good vanilla, the weird vanilla, the orange vanilla, the the other vanilla. You know. All right, she got that left elbow stirring vigorously. That looks like Chucky. She is stabbing the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what a laugh. <laughs> Just straight evil. <laughs> That's rude. She got a whisk arm. Did you say, did you say that's rude? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because you're like, she has a laugh that's evil. So It sounded kind of like Chucky. And you're stabbing the bowl. I mean, look at that technique. I don't think I've ever seen anyone <laughs> whisk. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's different. How many left-handed cooks do you see? Not many, because I don't spend time in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I always make uh, demon jokes about left-handed people. Left-handed people are good people. Yeah. You think so? Watch it. Watch you say it watch it? People, I have a whole gang of people on my side. Uh-oh. Like, hey, I'm left-handed too. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, demons do say they are legion. All right. I'm just trying to make sure that my feet can unstick from the ground. Well, I'm just saying, what happened to the bottom of your socks? Good oh. Lord. Ew, nothing. What do you mean, ew, nothing? Hey, come over here real quick. Hold up. What are you making? <laughs> Cormorant. Are you stirring it like you're angry? I might be. This look like vengeance over there. I feel like I was angry. All right, how much time is this? So she clearly has felt something in her bones, so she's checking the mac and cheese. You don't have another, like, thing like this? No, I only got one. Okay. And you know what? I used my left hand with it. Yeah, look at that. Like I think Stephanie threw away my pot holder. That's what happened. Why'd she do that? Because they had holes in it. I put it in the washing machine. Aren't you supposed to put your pot holders in the washing machine? Mine got tore up. Mm. Oh man, that looks good. Let me see if I can. Uh... I mean, it looks good, but I need like more cheese or some milk. Yeah, I think I think I might need some more cheese. You know, we want it to be the cheesiest. Let's see if we can get over there and see what she's got going on there while she got the oven open. There we go. You know what? I'm glad I put this camera in here. Go ahead and get in on the action. With all those seasonings that I have put on there. Oh, it yeah? Really smell good. We won't ask how much milk that was. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Was it a, a smidge? You bought me new pot holders? Well, I, I have one pot holder. I don't know what happened to the other one. So the one that I do have is in great shape. But I think I, I put it in the washing machine and somehow it got tore up. So I tried to pull something out of the oven and it burned me and that's how I found out it had a hole in it. <laughs> that That's a tragic thing that happened to me. That gave me trauma. See, when you cook, you can just grab the pot and the pans with your bare hands. I don't even know why she used the oven mitt. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Sabrina. Okay. Only one left. They're not even on. 
I'll drink some of the um, tea that you made me. Mmm, delicious, huh? Mm. You know what? This does taste like that um, hibiscus tea that we got from Ray Magella. That was a really good spot. Like, if you could advertise your sponsor anywhere, I would sponsor them. But let them know so that they know and then we can get the tea hookup. <laughs> But bro, they that were, would be nice because it's expensive. They were pretty tight. I don't know the vibe and the man working there. Kudos to you because whenever I go into a store, the um, customer service is like literally the most important part. <clears throat> I don't know about you. Yeah, he was really cool. He even like even a customer came in. He helped that customer and ran right back over. It's like I wanted to give him an award right there and be like. <laughs> like <laughs> some people, a customer comes in, or they go back to work, or they're just like tired of their job. And they're just like, oh, when is this person gonna come in or come out, or you know, like, what do you want? Do you want the tea or not? Because we were just looking like for for a long time and, and asking questions, right? Like but he was super attentive. Like, like what kind of tea helps with inflammation, high nice. blood pressure, yeah. stress? You know, he gets the award. Yeah, should I make some more tea? She said. I would say they disappear to the other place that our kitchen stuff disappeared to. Yeah, that's that is that might be a true story for sure. What's up, Stephanie? Stephanie in the house. <laughs> what are you looking at? What you talking about? What you looking at just the saying? comments. Oh, look like you was looking that direction. I was like, was I looking cross-eyed or something? A little bit. Just saying. Hey, my auntie uh, sent me a text back. Yes. Where are you at? <laughs> In Virginia. No, I'm at home. She thinks I'm in Virginia. Well, that's, that's funny. What'd she say? What'd you say? I said, is Crocker's spot good? And she said, yes. Where are you at? In Virginia? <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, Auntie, I'm not in Virginia. No, I'm at home. My friend said it was good. So she is making. This is how fast I, I text, by the way. Catfish, mac and cheese, ETT. Oh, look, my auntie's calling me now. Oh, she thinks you out there. Hey, auntie, how you doing? I'm I'm in I'm in Bremerton. I'm live. You live on the podcast. Oh, yeah. oh I'm sorry. I didn't even get to No, no, you good. You good. Just you know, everyone can hear you, so you know. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, no. So, is it good? Oh, yes, fried fish, potatoes, cornbread. Oh, yeah. You'll love it. Mm. Yeah, so my friend, we're you know, we cook on Friday night on the podcast. And so we were trying to figure out what to make. And so she was like, you know what? I'll make some fried catfish, some mac and cheese, mm -hmm. some greens. And she, she was thinking about that yeah. restaurant. Yeah, the Crocker Spot Hunt is very good. Very good. Very there's good. one in Richmond. There's one in Petersburg. And there's one in Colonial Heights. So when, was it closed when we were there? Because, I mean, we ended up driving out to Captain George's. Um, it was probably closed. Um, yeah. That location in the city has now closed. They didn't pay their taxes or something happened. But they do have spots in Colonial Heights, and uh, but I didn't know where it was. So it's it's it's, it's just a black, you know. But it's like said collard greens, um, you know, fish, you know, potato. That's the known they're known for the fish boat. Really? Which is fried fish smothered with peppers and onions, potatoes, fried potatoes, and a piece of cornbread. Oh wow! It, it, it is delicious. It is delicious. It is good. All right, we got um, to go next time I'm down there. Last time when you came here before, mm -hmm. it was during the pandemic, and a lot of those smaller restaurants were like they would take out, but a lot of them, um, you know, just weren't, you know, it's like a lot of restaurants just didn't take out. But yeah, it's good. It, oh, yeah, it's this is black restaurant week in Richmond ends, I think, Sunday. Oh. All this week is black restaurant week. Oh, so really? We, we got a boatload for you to try, honey. 
Oh like man. Barbecue. <clears throat> yeah, I did, I'd have told you if I was in town. You're like, where are you at? You in Virginia? We'll, we'll definitely have to go next time I'm there. Yes, sir. We certainly will. It's very good. Sabrina, man down. Okay. Help, help. Uh, Tell Sabrina, I dropped my sushi. Oh, I, I got hungry. I'm waiting for the meal. So I'm like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snack on the sushi. So we had sushi for, uh, what do you call that? Because we didn't have breakfast, so it was like brunch. Like a late brunch. It was like 5 o'clock. Uh -huh. Like, all right, we're going to eat something before dinner. It's going to take a few yeah. hours. I mean, she's making okay. the collard greens. Mac and cheese. I don't like it. like, I don't sushi. It's beautiful. Simple products. Yeah, well, we got some good sushi. They got some shrimp. Yeah, good. Some cucumbers, some avocado, and then some little, uh, what's it, like the little drizzle of some type of dressing on there. Like, like sriracha? So yours is cooked. Yeah, ours is cooked. Yeah, it don't taste yours raw. Don't okay. taste okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It just tastes fresh. So that's the sashimi. That's the raw kind. Yeah, I think oh. there might be. Like, even, like, Layla loves it. We we tear it up. Yes. Scott Scala loves it. Does she? She that, that California roll with that spicy, that spicy dressing, a drizzle on it. Oh, she loves it. Oh, I'm not into all that. It's beautiful to look at though. Well, I just I just, I just dropped mine on the ground. My, my one. I I knocked <laughs> over the sushi twice today. Okay. <laughs> you have something to drink, honey? No, I'm I'm sipping oh, on some hot tea. We we we're, we're sipping yeah, on some okay, hot tea. Okay, okay. Some hibiscus. Oh yeah, get you some sake. Some sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, we going with the soul food. So let me ask you. So what's a good alcohol to go with soul food? Some fried catfish and 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 the like. None. None. Water. water. Go ahead, girl. Why water? I mean, how about some Hennessy or something, a cognac? That's me throwing back, child. I, I want to sit and savor and enjoy. I don't want no alcohol to to spit you on the Yes. Or some good old soul. Oh, 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 oh. Now when you get finished and it's a late night, then you can throw back. But now right then and there, honey, I needed nothing to interfere with that macaroni cheese, going over my palate, that catfish, or whatever else I'm having on. So you saying like a wine doesn't go with soul food? I, I don't. You know you don't mess with it. Uh, I don't drink when I'm when I'm eating. I can drink before. I can drink after, but not during. You know, but after, well, what you gonna? What's your nightcap gonna be after a nice soul food dinner? I like a nice Irish coffee. Oh okay, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I, I do have an Irish whiskey that's delicious. Well, honey, get you some nice coffee. Or or it's coffee. Good. It's a coffee whiskey. Uh, oh, huh? Yeah, so it tastes like coffee when you first drink it, and then it finishes uh -huh. with whiskey, and you can taste the barrel oh, that it was well. aged in. It's really good. Man, I think I have to still add that to some hot coffee. That would be really good. Or can you warm it that way? I would yeah, yeah, you can, you can have it straight. You can put it in coffee. Okay, yeah, I put it in coffee and then a little whipped cream and then a little chocolate drizzle on top. Oh, she knows what she's talking yeah. about. <laughs> Sabrina says, you know what you're talking about. Yes, honey. She's and liking it. Like the dessert coffee after they have in a restaurant. Okay, delicious, yeah. Ooh, Lord. Yes. Yeah, my aunt can turn up now, Sabrina. <laughs> I love it. I'm sure that aunt. Something. We were eating, and I was eating something. I was Cameron's birthday today, so I cooked him. I made him dinner over here. So we had steak and salad and baked potato. I cooked it on the grill. Mm. And 
talking about something about mental, but I forgot what it was. But I started laughing. I was like, oh, Lord, help me, Father. Oh, what's the weather out there in Richmond? Well, today it was 62. Oh, really? Oh, because it's snowing somewhere in like the middle. Yeah. Low tomorrow night is supposed to be 18. And tomorrow. 18? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we're getting that cold front again, huh? That's wow. But I mean, they got 60 degrees, then to 18 degrees. Short Shorts to freezing, below freezing. That's crazy. Yeah, because it's usually like 75 and plus. We stay in the cold where you pants. But it was nice. It was sunny. You know, it was breezy, yeah, but, but was 62 is like a beautiful day here. We lose our minds when it hits 62. We were, it's, it's a, we turn up. It's a party. Oh, honey, I'm good. Yeah. We try to do the most. Hmm? Yeah, when I went out to work this morning, it was freezing. I was scared the ice off my windshield. And it got all the way up to 62. Wow. Yeah, now, mind you, it took it all day to get to 62. The warmth from Virginia is when you wake up in the morning, it's like at 6 a.m. and it's 62. Oh, I know. I was there in what, June or July? Yes. So, to wake up and it's 32 and I'm scraping my windshield, so I'm coming out at 34 o'clock and I don't have to wear a coat. Yeah. It's like, it's like a little Yeah, that's, that's but, weird. And as soon as the sun drops, woo, it's cold still. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, anything says, but this is not, it's not spring in Virginia. Yeah, it was so hot in the summertime. Woo. Yeah, I was just telling someone about that, how you were putting the, the Bucks fan outside on the on the patio. We're sitting outside drinking coffee with a fan on the outside. Like, I'd never seen that before. <laughs> but you know what? That was that was awesome, though, to sit out in the morning. You know, it's like warm, but you got the breeze and have the, have the morning coffee. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Cat, yeah, fried catfish, macaroni and cheese. She done put like three cheeses in there. Mm -hmm. You know, some collard greens. She's making mm -hmm. those spicy, so I might have like two leaves. And then some, <laughs> you know how I am. And then some, uh, some candy yams. She's making some cornbread. And what else? Did I miss something? I think you got it. And then is everything? Mm -hmm. Now all you need is some peppers and onions. It's fried and put over your fish. So I never had peppers and onions on the fish like a steak. Like that's different. But oh, it just you just do green peppers. And onions, honey, or red pepper, whatever color pepper you want. That's how Croker's does it, huh? I think that's so. how Croker's does mm -hmm. it. Yep, yeah. that's their signature, honey. Well, gotta wake my yep. time there. <laughs> Did she, say? she was getting ready to put the cornbread in the oven, but then something happened. What There's happened? Stuff in there, so I said, I gotta wake my oh, she can't. The, the oven's already full with the mac and cheese. Yeah. Yeah, but that's it. That's all we yeah, you know, every Friday night we do Cameron's Kitchen. I, I think Dad would have loved that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's there's always a, a guest cook that comes in and cooks some foods and say, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. And they throw down. Right. And the, fish. Okay. Yeah, last week, what did we have last week? We had, um, oh, the first the first week we had a Zupa, the Olive Garden. Oh, yeah. She made it just like Olive Garden. There's it. <laughs> Kind of to get ripped. Oh know. man, it was so good. Tore it up. Uh huh. Olive Garden Italian dressing on it, mm -hmm. and cook that and cream cheese, and you cook that in the, in the crock pot. Then you then you stir it up. 
break it up. Let it cook for about four hours or six hours and break it up. Then you boil pasta, drain it, put it in there, and then stir that up and then add some Parmesan cheese. In some dish, they have it Olive Garden. It looks good. Ooh, look at that cheese. Uh-oh. Oh, let, let me let me zoom in on that. Let me zoom in on that cheese, Sabrina. There you go. Yeah, let me get let me get down in that pan. See if you were watching the live right now, Auntie, you you would see the the, the cheesy mac and cheese sitting on the stove door while she stirs it. Look at that. Mm, look at that. Look at that. And she's not even using any gloves, so you know she's a cook. She her fingertips have been so burnt she can't even feel it. No, not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she she can throw down. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Go ahead, Sabrina. There you go. That's right. That's right. That's what Layla up to. Oh man, Miss Layla's doing her thing. She uh she just took a math test. You know, she's in the fifth grade and she tested in uh above eighth grade math. Yep, she's doing her thing. What's up? Yeah, I know. That's, that's so good. That's cool. Get it, girl. She gets it from a dad. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, sounds good. That's good, though. Oh, no. She, 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 gets it, she gets it from her papa. She gets it from her mama, too. Uh -huh. her mama was good at math, also. That's good. Honey, that's great. And the leg up they can take. That's right. Yeah. Oh, she loves it. She loves math. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you calling. I will. Thank you so much. Yes, the focus spot is near and dear to my heart. The next time you call, I'm gonna have to take you to the focus spot. All right, for sure. All right, my one. Have a good evening. All right, Auntie. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Well, that was my Aunt Colleen from Virginia. Colleen Cameron. Shout out to her. Oh, I should give her a horn. Whoa! Uh, I'm, wow. Hey, we, we're not going to talk about what happened in here. Oh, my God. Mistakes were made. Are you okay? Yeah. So that's my dad's only sister. This is 100%. Well, shout out to her. Hey, that's still good, though. I don't want to lose that. I'm throwing it away. No, it, look, it 100%, landed in the thing. 100%, this is the second time you threw stuff on the floor. I, like I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how that happened. Why are Seriously. You throwing sushi on the floor. Your, your floor is going to stink Shh. tomorrow. Isn't what? it smell so nasty? You are a snitch. Why don't we just spray something on there? <laughs> That's supposed to tell anyone. <laughs> I've been trying to keep it a secret for 30 minutes. You just came right over here and just told all of it. But I swear I just heard you say that you dropped it to your auntie. Yeah, but I didn't say it spilled all over the floor. I just said, I, you know, man. Don't do no, don't do no dirt with Sabrina. She gonna tell it all. She's like Usher. <laughs> if I'm gonna tell it, I better tell it all. So Sabrina, there's a question in the chat. What? They want to know how long you've been snitching. <laughs> <laughs> Something's really wrong with you. I know what it is. I really know what it is. How long you been snitching? They want to know. Inquiring minds, they need to know. Was it was it something that you were born into? Was it elementary school? Was someone an extra graham cracker? You know what? You got two graham crackers, Miss Teacher. Figure it out. Figure it out. She's a professional snitcher. Let me just tell you. You tell Sabrina a secret. You sound like a really good homie right now. What? <laughs> She's a professional snitcher. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? It takes a snitcher to know a snitcher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Snitcher. She can't even hear. She ain't paying no attention. How's it coming in there? No, it's coming along. Yeah? I need some more hibiscus tea. But probably because the Earl Grey is so caffeinated, I'll switch to the hibiscus with you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's really good. 
That's what my mama said. Did you really throw that out? Yeah, I did. Disgusting. Why not? Oh, wait, no, it's right there. <laughs> I'm all like, ew, yes. Disgusting. Get that out of here. Oh, great. Like one piece. I was going to eat it too. And it was like, boom. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't mess with this sushi. For some reason, it's like, you are not supposed to eat me. Touche. You say touche? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's Friday night. We still got to get laundry done, right? I might as well knock it out. What, you got a mic on or something? Yeah, I got my mic on. Oh. Girl, what is this? <laughs> it's from the oven and that's from the sink. Mm. On I need over. like a triple sink huh? No, I'm good. I, I I got what I needed out of there. I came to make some tea. Go ahead and make your tea then. Do you hear that? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't, because you saw me scrubbing the floor. Oh uh, no, but listen. Shit. <laughs> you must have something else on your foot. No, nah, no. Nah. Whoa. You trying to have a stain on this? No. What's that for? The tea. Why is it that color? Because it's hot water, but I need to make it hotter. Okay. Go tell it. You got to tell it all. Can you smell that candle? I mean, over my delicious food? Shoot. I don't know. So in the morning and at night, that's when I'm most congested. I just smell Why are you congested? Because mm. I have allergies. You probably have COVID. So I have COVID? Wow. Were you about actually, to clap? <laughs> and then I was like, that's it's probably, like, oh, I'm you COVID. <laughs> that's probably not that was a, a good one. A joke. Some people are like dying from COVID, so that's not right. So I apologize. Wow. So I swear I'm a good person. I, I swear. <laughs> she has a morbid personality. It's okay. He only wants his machete back. You know what that's from, right? Okay. You love scary movies. So I'm just trying to prepare this counter for the um I don't know why you put the candles in here. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just trying to prepare the counter for Oh, you say I'm in your way, huh? The um Mac and cheese, so I can take it out and put it up on here, you know? Nice, nice. The stuff that I'm about to put on the counter. I feel you. Let me see. Those were the pie. Oh, one fell out. Oop. Let me see. Another one fell out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do it all slow, my dude. Another one fell out. <laughs> what had happened was... All right. I didn't do it on purpose. So I'm going to go on a brief intermission and heat up this oil. And Mr. Marwan Cameron is going to make the tea. Show you guys a video. I'm going to show you a video? <laughs> what kind of video? I don't know. You better figure something out. <laughs> you know, you got your mic on, right? Oh. They might be able to hear that. Great. <laughs> They're going to hear the slurping from my soda. Now let me make you. Tea bag over here. Bam, bam. You know what? I've been drinking Earl Grey. I'm gonna stay with the. So this right here. Oh, this is one of my favorite teas, right? This is that double bergamot Earl Grey. Super caffeinated. Not great for people with a uh, high blood pressure, but you know, after a long week. Oh, smells good too. Mm, mm, mm. Put some in there for you. If I heard. There you go. Now they did. Got your tea. Oh, thanks. You get mine. Wow. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
So I look at the camera because as I'm drinking, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can taste the flowers. Earl Grey doesn't have flowers in it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the hibiscus. <laughs> you didn't see it. I, I made the uh, Earl Grey because I was already drinking Earl Grey. You look like you're getting you can taste the flowers. I just say something random. Right look, it's almost falling off the bone. Hey, you know? so you can't see in the pot because we don't have <laughs> as many bushels as, as of greens. It looks like it's more ham hock than greens. Oh, so doesn't if you're it? You're a carnivore. You're gonna <laughs> love these greens. It it's does, definitely meaty. It? it does, but that's good. No, I mean. I'm not that mad at you. That's that's part of the best part. Those right? are bones. A ham hock. And it needs more water. So what's going that on? That looks good. Man, that sure cooked down. That's bad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. There'll be enough Next for everybody. Oh, you know what? Are those mustard uh, collards? Or, Man, uh, I didn't, but I should throw a little bit of mustard in there, huh? No, I didn't get the actual mustard greens. No. I never put mustard on my You know what? I never today. knew what... Uh, have you ever had turnip greens? Maybe. I just be getting greens. Layla's grandma would make uh, turnip greens. I'm like, I never heard of turnip greens. They're good, though. You know? Oh, if you need garlic, you might forget that it's sitting here. Oh, no, I haven't seen that, actually. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I should put it somewhere. Fresh garlic is good. Well, I need to turn this you off. You got to keep it there so the vampires stay away. Yeah, but I like to turn my, my scented, you know, thing on. It's just good in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What are the cameras looking like? Like, where is our producer? <laughs> I'm trying to see the food. I want to see it in real time. Ah, all right. She told me to get in here and do my job. So rude. What a diva. I hope this looks good. Oh, it looks good. Whoops. Yeah, that looks good. Are you going to make it uh, crispy on the top? Okay, so I should keep it. <laughs> keep it on in there. I just, want, what, I just wanted I'm, you to spin around. You like that to spin That is what I'm going to do. The uh, edges are crispy, so that's why. Yeah, I like, yeah, you know. yeah. That no, that looks good. And I'm trying to put the cornbread in there, and then I'm about to get this fish ready because everything else is. Applause! Let me give you an applause. Put it down today. Yeah, my auntie sure knew exactly what you were talking about. She says it's the bomb. With the jazz, I'm definitely for that. Have you ever uh, been to Captain George's? No. So when we were down there, right? So for my, because uh, I went to Old Dominion University in Norfolk, Virginia. Okay. So when I, uh, I think it was for my master's degree, right? So I went down there to walk. And my dad took us all to Captain George's, right? He Sabrina. Did. Sabrina, it's all you can eat seafood. Oh, shoot. You told me, but I did see the pictures. Oh, uh, I mean, all you can eat, all the crawfish. Do you like crawfish? You know, I probably can. Uh, all you can eat crawfish, all you out. can eat crab cakes, all you can eat um, everything that you can think seafood, all you can eat crab legs. It was crazy. So if I eat too many crab legs, I break out in hives. That's the one time I'm like, Zyrtec, because I'm going in. How many legs can you eat? Crack, crack, crack. Tearing them up. We leave out of there so full. So when I was there in July, you know, my uh, my little cousin was going to an HBCU. She's at Morgan State. And so I was like, all right, let's drive up to uh, Captain George's, which is, I think, like halfway between. Oh, I can't remember what city uh, Captain George's is in now. But it's like an hour drive. Where was it? Yeah. You, know how we, you saw the pictures when we, I rented Where the uh, drop top. Where was it? Somewhere in Virginia. But I don't remember. I'm laughing because you're like, I, I can't remember. Also, I was like, where Where was it at? It was somewhere. Oh, y'all can see my purple slippers? I told you I had to put on the purple slippers. Oh, Getting all the extra open. tonight. Perfect. Huh? Cornmeal is not even open, so I'm just pouring in some corn cornmeal, trying to get this uh, uh oh ready for the catfish. So I got some more the buttermilk. Using the spirit. So how's your spirit doing? It's doing good. 
Huh? I got some cayenne pepper that I'm just going to put in there. Man, that's a lot of cayenne pepper. Oh, man, the catfish. I'm going to burn my tongue on the catfish. Is it spicy? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, boy. Dang. Mm. I guess Whoa. I'm not eating any catfish. Wow, you still say mm, it shook more up in there. Drink your tea, it'll cool it off. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna mix it, so. Maybe I won't have any catfish. Just go take a little bite and be like, oh God. That's okay. I did not know that cayenne pepper was, you know, this is like the first time I made this, and so I was looking at a recipe. Look, I put a lot of cornmeal in there, see? Yeah. And now when you mix it, it goes all the way down to the bottom, so. Man, the old school, we'd use uh, paper bags for you that the what? chicken and shake it all hard. Yeah, I should have put it in like a Ziploc bag. You right. Paper bags is the old school. Oh, those greens smell good now. It really kind of smells like Thanksgiving in here. You know? I think you should probably do this once every three months. Because you wait, you know, what happens? You go the whole year. And then for those of us that don't have these whole food restaurants, you got to wait till Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then maybe New Year's. Do you bring in, do you make a black eye? Wow, cayenne pepper sure is hot. Oh, it's still burning your tongue? No, it ain't burning, but. You, you feel know, it? It's hot, yeah. I mean, I like hot stuff, but I was not expecting. I thought it was just like some flavor. Well, it was so hot, you stop, stop breathing. You <laughs> stop talking for a minute. Did you just get, get on me for using my teeth? No. Mm. Mm. Did it have the extra sharp? Extra sharp is so good. Excuse me? Were these a dollar? Excuse me. What was what, what a dollar? The uh, red bell peppers. Uh, Woo! Put sure. more water in here? Yeah. Look at that. I know what's going on. Got some hot sauce too. You put hot sauce on your greens? Uh when you're eating it, right? Yeah. I don't know, do you? Mm. You already made it real spicy as it is. Yeah, I've been making it pretty spicy. I put in four cups, is that enough? Or no, I put in two cups. Want to put a what more? does it look like? As long as it's like a little bit over, then that's perfect. I think it's good. I can see the, you know how the water has the oil in it? So you got the fat from the ham hocks and then the discolored from the seasoning. Like you can tell this is like well seasoned. This would be good over rice, over cornbread. My dad would take the cornbread and sop up the green juice. Yeah. let none of that juice go to waste. No. Nope. You know what I'm talking about, huh? Mm-hmm. What's the lemon for? Oh, I was just going to use it. Oh, for the fish, right? Yep. Should we put it in the tea, too? Sure. Can I cut it in the middle? Mm-hmm. I was just going to use it as a garnish, pretty much. Like, yes, it is for the fish, but I was just going to use it to look pretty. I don't really like uh, lemon on my catfish. You know, it's fried. It's it's good. Yeah. Here, tell me if that's enough lemon. Just a second, please. Hold on. One second, let me wash my hands. Oh, yeah, like lemon. The poor paper towels. Sorry, but that's what it they're was for. such a full roll. Mmm. You like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going here. Yeah. Get out the kitchen. The <laughs> summer just uh they just set that tea right, right off, huh? Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Girl, you should be in advertising. <laughs> Made me want to buy some tea and I'm already drinking it. You know? Oh. Oh.
Oh man, I got people asking me on uh oh that's not me. Oh, it sounds like there was a tragedy that happened down at Lions Field today. Yes. There was a car found in the water Has anybody else with a body in there. Oh, see? someone was just asking a question. Yeah. What happened down at Lions Park? Let me yeah. see if there's any updates. Try to keep body in there. There was a body inside. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, oh, suicide and drove into the water. Oh no. See, times are getting hard. That's why we have to be loving. We have to be friendly. Please don't pass by somebody without saying something nice. And I know we're all going through it today, but it's just not worth it to be angry oh. or carry your pain to somebody else. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. We are all going through it. Ain't nobody better than the next today. Ain't nobody. None of that. None of that. We need each other more than ever. Like, it's not funny. That's so sad. Right here in Bremen, I've heard of so many stories like that. Not in Bremerton. And maybe it has happened in Bremerton, but I've heard of stories where women just drive off the water and commit suicide. I've heard of those stories. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. know it so much that are, I'm just not going to go down that road because I, tr I just can't. But I, I just, I, the reason why I do talk about it because so many people struggle and don't talk about it, you know? Well, you know what's sad is, um, so I mean, I it's can... sad anyway, but it's even more sad, like we're coming out of COVID. Well, coming out of it. You and we were so not... isolated, you, you know? talking about China. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier. Yeah, that's tough, man. <sighs> you know, but let's not live in fear, right? Let's take a moment to pray. Do you want to take a moment to pray? Sure. Let's pray with our uh, with our audience. Let's sure. pray with ourselves. Sure. You want to say it? Go ahead now. Oh, Lord, thank you for the day. Thank you for our friends. Help us to stay strong. Connect us with people. We're feeling alone. Put someone in our lives that can help us to get through the tough times. Help us guide our spirit guide our steps, uh, that we may understand that no matter how bad the day is, we're not going to make a permanent decision to a temporary problem. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There we go. You know, once that camera gets unplugged, which is a good note because it fell over, what? I'd have to reconnect it to the Wi-Fi all over again. Oh. So it's not working? Well, remember it dropped. So once it fell, whoops. Once it fell, I broke it. It's good to know. Man, we have an unboxing to do. I've got some more equipment that I need to open up that we're going to uh, use at the Race and Equity Summit. So we're super excited about that. And then we have something else that if you were listening way earlier, about an hour or so ago, uh, Sabrina kind of let the cat out of the bag. And I think, do we want that to be our giveaway? Our first giveaway? So Sabrina's like, we need to do giveaways to our subscribers and those that share the podcast. We're trying to grow our numbers. No? Yeah. Why are you trying to cover my mouth? Was I, I wasn't. That. Did I say something I wasn't supposed to say? No. Oh. So I'm not sure if I was just not supposed well, to say something. Well, you have real supporters and stuff, and the people, you know, then they would understand and they would get it. They would you know, get it's it? It's all part of the way it goes. Yeah. So what are we supposed to do? What, what should I be saying to the people? Come, no, you're saying, come appeal to the people. You're saying it right. I'm saying it right. Come appeal to it's the just people. just that, you know, we can do a giveaway soon so that we can appreciate all our viewers, all those who are sharing, you know. Uh, appreciate those who are supporters because if there was no, um, if y'all weren't here, if there was no supporters, then there would be no the conduit. There would be no Mr. Cameron. The I conduit. He's gonna be here, but you know. Uh, dang, where am I going? Y'all, y'all make it go around, and y'all make it what it is. So for sure, I was just thinking that if we can uh, do some type of giveaway and get some of y'all to share it around, because that's how you know we get viewers that's how we get more supporters that's how we get more love and, and that's what you want you want it to grow you want you those of you that don't all, uh, always like to comment 
you'll be able to see more people interacting and it'll be a better show. You know, you want to see people communicating and you want to see people coming from different areas to be able to see it. So I'm just hoping that we can get some of you guys who, you know, if, if you're behind the camera and you're just watching or not behind the camera, behind the screen or behind the phone, just watching, that's totally fine. But please take the time to share it because you don't know who's on your page or, or some of your friends who would want to interact, who would want to see this, who would be inter entertained by any of this. Um, I mean, who would want to join and be, and be on and, too, and get right? some type of chance to, to, to show their face to other people, you know, because this is an open place, you know. He like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, this is a space for multiple people to feel okay in. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right. It's educational. We give out good information. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Right. So what are we going to give out? We want to talk about it or is it going to be a surprise? Well, you tell me because you clearly making up your own type of giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> but we have, we haven't decided yet, but I think we got some ideas that I think you might like, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Secret might be in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We ain't discussed it yet, so we're gonna talk about it. All right, we'll talk about what we eat. But like he was trying to say and get out, so I don't ruin, you know, his uh you know, happiness. What you have about what, what kind I'm of about everything? What, have, what kind of package did you just receive? Oh, what did I just get? Um, for the giveaway. Oh, for the giveaway? Well, but we haven't made it yet. You know what I'm saying? We gotta make it first. Let's do the unboxing first. Then we can talk about it. Like, yeah, we're gonna have to talk about this later. Yeah. Just All like right. the sushi rolling on the floor. This is the same see, situation. see, see what snitches do? They bring it back and they tell on you twice. You know what I'm saying? So if someone wasn't when watching I say, 30 minutes sushi ago, sushi rolling on the floor, right? Because I dropped the sushi. Why you, are you bringing up old stuff? Nothing to do with you. Why are you bringing up old stuff? We ain't even talking about that no more. Snitches get stitches. That's all I got to say. Okay. What you got to say to that? So when she's stirring in the pot, her mind goes blank. I mean, I'm flipping this dish. I know, that's what I'm saying. It just went, oh, you got the fish in the frying pan? Oh, let me let me zoom in on that. Let me get over there. Take a look at that. You know, when I was younger, we would do uh, fish Fridays. You know what I'm saying? What happened? You're not pleased with the mac and cheese? I am. I just, I have no patience to keep it to how I think you would like it, but it's still going to taste. What really do you mean? Good. You ain't got no patience. Either way. Oh, because it didn't crisp on the top? Not all the way. That's okay. Look, you know what can happen? Once you do the uh, cornbread, you can just pop it back in and maybe turn it up to 500. Yeah, you can. You know what I'm saying? Bam! Get that little crust on the top. Boom, boom, boom. You don't like the crust on the top? Okay, I'm going to keep that one in for the crusty. Well, how about the crust on the top, not the crusties? The crusties don't sound very appetizing. <laughs> I'm not interested in no crusties. You know? Let me keep that one. Hey, Rob, how's your game going? How about this? How's this going? Because this is my first time, so I don't know if I made it all that right. What's that? The, uh, oh, you put it in the oven, too? Ooh, let me get down there. Oh, okay, y'all. First, she boiled the potato. Okay. Um... Hey, hey, I, I know, but twerk team, you were like right in the shot. You got to slide to the side because all they can see is your back. All right. I was trying to show it to the folks. You closed the oven up. <laughs> okay, okay. I just want you to move out the way. It's like, nah, we, we shutting it down. There we go. Ooh, let me look at that golden brown yams right there. And I know some people like uh, marshmallows on theirs. I don't, but I got to say, I went to uh, uh, my friend. Rod's house for Thanksgiving, and he made it with mash uh, with marshmallows, and it was actually delicious as hell. Okay, we're gonna close that because it's gonna be some. Mash What's going up, D Ross? Oh man, it's it's Cameron's kitchen on Friday night. We just uh, we come down and just and just cook and have a good time tonight. Sabrina's making fried catfish, mac and cheese, some collard greens with ham hock, cornbread. She's turning up today. She's she's really. He's putting it down. Oh, come back over here so they can see you. He's putting it down today, you know? So that's what we do. How you doing? 
How you doing? You here to see what we cooking tonight? <laughs> All right. So, you know, in a, in a little bit, a little bit less aggressive. Oh, that's right. just left. <laughs> How uh, you doing come, this come on back. Come on. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Whoa. <laughs> you don't have your headphones on, and that's probably like ain't no tomorrow. No, I can look. Well, I, I, I can see the feeder. Hey, you're the one that came over here and decided to yell like a crazy woman. <laughs> and I'm going for the three months. Thank you. I'm enjoying my game. Seven, you all are. That's tight. That's fine. That sounds like a time. Yeah. That sounds like a really good time. That's cute. It's Let's like keep... love in the making. Oh, y'all get it on on that destiny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is that like country R and B? That's it works. <laughs> well, let me just sip my tea. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now we having a good time. How how you doing, D Rose? You know what? Hey, you guys have to stop playing Destiny. If you keep playing Destiny, I'm going to keep falling further and further behind. Every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. is G2 Game Night, where we play PlayStation 5 and 4 with a bunch Wait, of you us. you have a PlayStation 5? No, I have a 4, but you okay. can cross, you know, okay. cross That's console. I just got to make sure. I, I, haven't, I haven't been able to turn up and get a 5, but I do have the Oculus, and we Whoa. are... We We're should, working uh, on that. You you want to grab it? Should figure a lot out. Show people the Oculus. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Grab it for me real quick. Uh, not you have... Oh man, let me tell you. So the two. Oculus came. Me, me and Layla love it. I got one too. Sabrina Why got I gotta one. Keep repeating myself. I got one too. Hey, y'all want to know something? I got one too. Yeah, but see, mine is mine is purple. You know what I'm saying? Because of course it's got to be that. This. The D2 purple on there. Like a, bam. bam. Looking like Tom Clancy up in here. Course, you know what I'm saying? Of course so. This is tight. I didn't know it had those. Yeah, you like those? Uh, yeah, I got them all after. Why would you put this on now? Can you see? No, I can't see nothing. Why are you giving me the hands? I'm not going to turn it on right now. I'm not about to play it. Yeah, you, actually, you, you go like this. You still going to give it to me because anyway, huh? I mean. So, <laughs> Sabrina, you should be tripping. Wait, can you see me or no? <laughs> no, I can't see you. Oh, because I was making funny faces and you're like, Sabrina, you tripping. Because <laughs> <laughs> you tripping. There's something wrong with you, girl. <laughs> but this is the... I mean, no one told you to put it on. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Wow. See what I got to do? With... I can't work under these conditions. Now, nah, we have a good time, but this is a lot of fun. You know, I box with this in the morning. I did punch my laptop across the room yesterday, and then I uh, I was shooting uh, Papa Shot, and uh, I'm surprised I didn't bust one of my light bulbs. I hit one of my light bulbs. It's pretty crazy, but Layla likes it. So we have a good time. And I joined a, uh, like a gym membership, and I'm going to do uh, uh, yoga on there. They were saying they... Uh, catfish, it's like good. What? I'm ready. You ain't gonna tell me twice. You ready? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Let me zoom out. Oh. Coming right now. Let me get the camera right. Up. Ooh, oh, no, no, zoom, too. zoom out. Zoom up. Bam, let me come in there. I need this though. Oh, it ain't on you. That's why uh, I'm uh, doing that. You know, I used to do that on camera in the beginning, though. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, what's wrong with this guy? Can you show this to the camera? Damn, look at that right there. That's what we're talking about. You see that? See that? Oh, look at that. It's all golden. Mm, mm, mm. Put it down, right? Here, smile, smile on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like poke my eye out, why don't you? How do I know it's done? I'm telling you to try it first. And Girl, see. why are you stabbing my pot with that metal spoon? <laughs> why are you so aggressive? Look, hey, 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 hey! Come on, look, hey. look. Let's try this. Let's try this. Look, okay, see? that's okay. But do you see what that spoon's doing? Don't yeah, play. it's bending a little bit, but I mean, I'm hearing it. It's like it hurts. It hurts the pot. Is the one that cooks every day? I know, but I'm just saying. 
Too nice to the pot. The pot no, is I'm nice putting food. love into the food. No, it sounds like aggressive. Mm, no, it don't. Pain. Pain. Yeah. Did you hear it? You're not appreciating the food. I do appreciate the food. But I'm about to put rat poisoning. There. Rat poisoning? What? Don't start. I've done it before. Wow. That does look really beautiful. Damn. Yes, it does. Mm, mm, mm. I just take one of these whole pieces of pit? Yeah. Actually, no, just asking. take a little bite. Uh-uh. Huh? You want some scissors? <laughs> <laughs> no beaver teeth. <laughs> Why are you talking about yourself? What? I already cracked my tooth tonight. Ooh, it's all flaky, too. Hey, look at that right there. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, look at that. Oh, boy. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <sighs> Hang on, I'm definitely spoiled right now. Oh, I burnt my toe. <laughs> you burnt your toe? Wow. It was definitely the tip of my favorite. Hey, kids. <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> The best thing you can do. So, uh, you guys are going to stop playing Destiny? Is that what you said? Because I won't be able to catch up? Ooh, do you hear that? This is what you were saying yesterday, uh, Sabrina ASMR. What? When I cut it, it was like, because it's all crispy on the outside and flaky on the inside. Is it good? I'm, no, I'm, about to, no, I'm about to burn my tongue. Hey, why don't you try this straight out, straight out the fryer? You know I would. With hot oil. You know I would. Yeah, but I'm not a masochist. You know what I'm saying? You could be. I would like to enjoy the other bites. Mm. For some reason, you don't want to be. <laughs> mm. You know what? I can't remember the last time I had catfish. Mm. Wow, you want to try this? Oh, wow, it looks good. Heck yeah, it looks good. She did a good job. You better tell her. She did. You ain't on it. You ain't on it. Right there, look. You're not on it. She don't see you. <laughs> Can I please just see it? Come here. Let me just see the food. Let me just see. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I was just trying to get a piece. You playing games. Actually, some lemon actually probably would be good on this. Hey, don't be messing up the picture. Mm. Oh, that's probably good. Mm. 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 Mm
Is that what you gonna do? Is you gonna put that on there? What? I saw. Well, maybe. I'm pretty sure I got an open bottle in here. I did. What is the open bottle? You threw it away. Oh. Oh, we were having a discussion. Oh, there it goes. It's in the fridge. We were having a discussion on whether or not you put hot sauce in the refrigerator. Oh after. shoot! And I put it in there. I would put it in there, but I'm not sure. I know I got friends and family that says, excuse my language, but they get so pissed off when they come over the and they see that hot sauce in the refrigerator. It's like this hot sauce looks like it has some stuff in it that it's like if you leave it out, it might not be. I don't know. Marlon, where you at, man? Tell us, what, mm. tell us mm. how to mm. tell us how to handle it. So what I'm doing with the catfish, and I'm just letting it. Mm. Well, I'm not telling uh -oh. it, but hopefully Tony's on. at least three uh, three minutes on one side, at least three minutes on the other. Tony's on. He said, "Fish and chips, is it good?" Where you at, Tony? Sabrina want to know where you at, Tony. So, Tony, I don't know what's going on with our universe, but the universe is trying to tell us something about each other. I don't know if you're getting that same message. But I just see him, and I see him. Who knows if he's in a stressed out moment, or he's? I'm like, the universe is just telling me to smile and wave. But I keep seeing him around town. Don't be looking like that. I'm just, Tony. I know you're getting them same vibes. <laughs> what vibes are those? You want him in that sauce? You know what I'm saying? I just keep seeing him at random times. And one time he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry if you don't want me to share this," but he was like, "I'm just trying to figure something out. Something just happened," and he was kind of in a catastrophic mood. Remember what I was saying about a snitch? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry if you didn't want that out there. Snitch, snitch time. I don't know if he was in a catastrophic mood. Oh, he's amazing. But I'm just saying, he was like, oh, Sabrina. Oh, hi. And then I drove away, you know, and I was like, bump, bump, bump. You were bumping the beats? Because I was bumping. And then uh, it was just this morning that I seen him. Cleaning out the G2 vans. You know you what? Know? I want to hear your story so bad, but I want you to hand me that saucer while you tell the story. What? What do you want? The fish that's behind you. There you go. Now to keep telling your story. I don't want you to lose that. What? It wasn't done. This looks delicious. It is delicious. I'm going to stop using this fork, though. Mmm. You hear that crunch? ASMR. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I'm not even chewing anything. Don't worry, Tony. We're making enough for you. He's making collard greens, sweet potatoes, cornbread, mac and cheese in the oven. He's putting it down. Mm, mm, mm. That's it right there. Delicious. No, I was thinking earlier, Sabrina, like we had the sushi, right? And it was like, oh, sushi doesn't go what we're having tonight, but we're having catfish. It's like, it still goes, right? Did you burn yourself again? Yeah, it's hot. So Sabrina doesn't always use a pot holder. <laughs> Anthony and Tony says, should he come now? It's not quite ready yet. But it, it's not gonna be ready for another hour. But we promise we'll we'll save you some. Matter of fact, um the fellas are gonna come over either tomorrow or Sunday. And we're gonna uh sit down and eat. So I'll tell you whether it's uh Saturday or Sunday. Because Layla and I are going to go out to Seattle. So if you're available either Saturday or Sunday, come on through. I'll tell you what time. We're going to just sit here and just eat all of Sabrina's cooking. And I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I stirred the mac and cheese like two times. I made sure I got mine in. What you doing now, Sabrina? Oh, she's using her teeth, so we're trying not to get that on camera. <laughs> but it is. Oh wow, she's fierce with it too. You can see her head shaking when she rips the package I hope it's open. Not on camera. Oh, it's on camera. It's I just was your... trying to be real 
<laughs> Not with your head shaking. Looking like a bear. <laughs> Grr. That is incredible. Yeah, that was good. I, I kind of feel like maybe we should sample one more just to make sure. I mean, there's still another half. Right? That one piece could have been a fluke. And hey, 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 I said I should taste. Stop biting it. Mm. Give me that fish, girl. You want some lemon? Yes, yes, ma'am. This time I'm gonna uh I'm gonna try this with a little bit wow. of lemon and a little tartar sauce. Because I'm not a hot sauce person, but and then you know I'm not sure how you're supposed to squeeze it. There's nothing like beaver. You want hot sauce or no? Most guys, if they have tartar sauce, it's gonna be the beaver. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, you squirted lemon all in my face. Me too, no worries. Oh, yours too? We in this together. That's well, I'm okay, doing. but I mean, lemon burns. Yeah. Thank you for that. How much lemon did you squeeze on this fish? Because you were squeezing for a minute. I got a lemon shower. I'm smelling kind of citrusy. All right, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. So bring to try this with the lemon and the tart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and the tart. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's enough just to just make you just dab the corner, you know. Keep it elegant, keep it classy. Mm -hmm. It'll never trash you <laughs> I'm like, wow. <laughs> so somebody's gonna slurp it up and lick her fingers. That's not on camera, but boy, you can hear it from across the room. I'm trying to keep it classy, and someone just went straight to the to the smoke shack. Smoke shack. <laughs> well, I mean, I, that's the first thing that popped in my head. You know what? I better get these on out. What's that? Wow. Oh. Hey, Sabrina, stop bringing me this fish. You're going to ruin my appetite. Ouch. Are you pulling the fish out with your fingers? No, but I keep leaving this metal tongs on the thing, and it's like burning my hand off. Wow. I am so impressed in myself. Like I, I guess I've never really cooked with cornmeal, so yeah, that looks delicious. It's good. It looks like the pitcher, actually. You know that? Huh? It looks like the pitcher. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. This is incredible. I like when you're happy with your effort. What? I said I like when you're happy with your effort. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it looks good. It looks delicious. I'm proud because I was worried. Like I never made this. It's like, oh, I don't want to make, you know, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to make something nasty, but I guess that's impossible. I don't know about impossible, but this ain't nasty. Well, it's all about the mood, right? You want to try this with the hot sauce? Because some things can come out real salty on a salty mood. <laughs> well, no, you were, um, the food on on my birthday was good. You know, you were in a salty mood on my birthday. Okay. At least you got salty. Wow. Didn't start off that way. I think it was. Well, that girl be getting right salty. There. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I didn't cut open enough fish. You're going to do what? Fish. One more. Oh. So. Uh, Did you just bite a fish? Who? Oh. Did you just bite one? Yeah, delicious. So you know, everybody else got to eat this fish. So I don't got regular milk. We got buttermilk. I found that in the uh, milk aisle. Mm. Fred Myers. Who knew they made buttermilk? I don't usually cook with that. But I looked up a good recipe. And I guess it, it, just, it, it hit. Mm. I got like 29 catfish to fry. Like, this is ridiculous. 29 catfish. This is Rob said, no, that's, that is why 
I have more than one character, and only Stephanie is playing Destiny. I'm playing Horizon. What did he say? I was saying, if they don't stop playing Destiny, I'll never be able to catch up to them. And he said, what? I still playing? No, he said, no, they got... <laughs> dang. <laughs> they said, there's three characters. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Man, this is good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Did you ever share Croker's on to there, or no? Yeah. Oh, that's mm-hmm. good. I mean, it's not like it's here. Like, people can just go right across the street. But you know what? They might be traveling, though. I bet that's probably good with hot sauce. If I liked hot sauce, I would do it. But I do like the crunch, you know? Man, I never need more greens. But today, it's like, I could have used more greens. You know, it's just like the ham hock that I bought. Do you hear her stabbing my much, pot? But this ham the hock metal spoon, like she's just... Pieces. Every time I try to take it, she goes back to that metal spoon. And look how vigorous she is. She's like stabbing my pot. The only thing I would change. She she destroys my... It's like she's angry at the pot. There's no reason for it. Are you praying? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. What I'm praying that you will stop stabbing my pot with that metal spoon. <laughs> <laughs> can you calm down? What? I can hear it from over here. It's traumatizing me. Why would it traumatize you? Because I have no Teflon left on the bottom of my pot. <laughs> like a big old hole. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. You take out your aggression on my pots. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I'm just saying. Might be. So we, we need to... And that um, cayenne pepper burnt my freaking face off. Did it? Thing was hot. Oh, from the first time you tasted it like 30 minutes ago? I don't know. Something's burning on my face. You see? That's why I stay away from the spicy food. I'm good. Y- y'all can have that. I like flavor, but I, I don't I don't need my lips burning, my tongue burning. Sharp who are you waving at? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on right now? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you. I forgot what I was going to say. I look over and you're waving at the camera like, what's going on? You were funny. I got to wave to my fans. I, hey, I feel you. Go ahead and wave at your fans. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> what a face, right? Man, it's really burning over here. All right, we just make sure that you, you have your seatbelt on when you when you go home. So last night I was watching, um, shoot, what was I watching? I was like, um, where's that place y'all want to go? Nola? Or New Orleans, mm-hmm. and it was uh Mardi Gras, and it was um like some emer- it was it was it was called like night catchers or night shift night watchers something, but it was about like ambulance EMT going out at night, and it was like it just happened to be Mardi Gras, so I guess people because it's been COVID have been just doing it at home and stuff. They haven't had the parades in the streets, but they've been seeing the like people who have been decorating their homes, giving the artists still something to do. You mm-hmm. know? Anyways. I actually don't really know what happened at this point, but they were getting some lady. I don't know what happened to her because I was like on and off sleepy. <laughs> um, so I like to watch the ID show to sleep. So I'm like, mess with me. I'll stab. Just kidding. But some lady, wow. You were talking about seatbelts and she did not want to keep her seatbelt on. And they're like, you've got to keep your seatbelt on. And she was like, I'll oh, fuck you up. I don't want to keep my seatbelt on. You know, and they're putting her in the ambulance and she's like, and they're like, kept buckling her up and she would not keep that damn seatbelt on. So, talking about seatbelts and short bus. <laughs> well, you know, thank you for that uh, invigorating story. That's always great. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Why do I keep doing this? Why? You know, once you get the tongs with the rubber on them, there's some in there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. In that third drawer. These are the good ones. Ouch. The other ones might be good ones, too. You know? He's like, shoot, I ain't got nothing that ain't good up in there, girl. Try again. Well, I don't know. That may not be true, you know, since I'm not uh, the greatest cook. I can't really say for certain. 
I don't challenge the cooks. Huh? I said I don't challenge the cooks. I think I, the whole town is a cook. Ow. Okay. Let me uh, switch to you since you got that oven open. See if we can zoom in on that. Trying to get that crust on that mac and cheese there. And not only that. Not only that, but uh. <laughs> uh oh. Sorry, we're gonna not. We're not gonna do that. I apologize. Ooh, look how red hot that oven is. So we got the cornbread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold it down a little bit, right there, right there. Oh, go back. It's burning my hand. It's burning my hand. Oh, okay. Put it on the table. I don't want you to burn. Ooh, look at that mac and cheese getting golden on the side. And look at those yams in the bottom. Yeah, Tony, it's Thanksgiving up in here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yams are somewhere. Look at that. I'm about to take the yammers out. I'm about to take these hammers out. I'm going to put this right up on here. Mm, mm, mm. What you put in those yams? You put syrup in there? Did I put what? Syrup. Brown sugar, what'd you put in those yams? I put some. <laughs> <laughs> Tony said, I know. I know, man. Tomorrow or Sunday, we're going to eat good. I'm telling you, this is like Thanksgiving in March. This, this is a blessing right here. I believe. I do not take it for granted. I definitely appreciate Sabrina and Kendra. Ooh, the other way. Turn it the other way. There you go. Right there. That Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh, wow. Okay. Man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Friday night. Just got paid. Party's jumping. Woo. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me uh, turn the other way. Turn this way. No more. There you go. Right there. Okay, you get you get a little too close. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ooh, we do it, girl. You know what you be doing, huh? You know what you be doing. Look at that smile. You hey, see that? <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. You know, sometimes I can just be like a, a, a funny girl. What? Yeah, you can see the collard greens are boiling there. Let's see if we can get there. You want, you want to take the lid off those collard greens? Let's get some of those collards right there. There. Hawker. Oh, hey. Okay, we're not going to do that. Tell them like it is right there. Okay, so what's in the oven? Nothing. So we can turn that off. Boom, oven is done. Oh, the oven is done? I guess you can turn it down and, and, and the fish can stay warm up in there. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have put the fish in the um, foil pan, huh? Yeah. What you what you thinking about? You need it all. It said to like get the towel to to suck in all that oil, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Paper towels. Well, I mean, we could still do it. It's fine. And they it, they weren't really oily to me. Yeah. You know. Well, I'll just put them here and then transfer them over there. That's how that will go. I'll get your transfer on. Okay, so what else is new? What you guys going to do in Seattle? You said you and Layla going to Seattle? Yeah, we're going to go see Grandma. Okay. You know, and turn up for a little bit. Grandma hasn't seen her in a uh, few years. That'll you know? be fun. So we'll go and do that. <clears throat> Probably go eat some good food. What's she doing this Friday night? Who, Layla? Yeah. Oh, man, Layla is probably home. 
She's definitely still awake right now. Watching some TV with grandma. Probably. Thinking about Monday when she can go back to school because she loves school so much. No kid goes to sleep on a Friday. Like, I can't wait for Monday. Uh, Layla loves school, man. Or she can love school, but she don't want to just like relax sometimes. No, that is relaxing for her to see her friends and play with her friends. She loves her friends. She loves her teacher. She loves know, learning. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. For real. <clears throat> I actually was a kid that liked to go to school for my friends and stuff. Um, not so much for the learning growing up, but once I went to like college, I enjoyed going for the learning because I actually knew, like, dang, I'm actually learning. Hey, learning is fun. Huh? I said learning is fun. Yeah, once you get figure out how to tell your brain to learn. Yeah. Well, funny, earlier... Sabrina almost chopped me in half. With what? Playing with this sword. Uh, so you're pulling a rob so now. We fixed the studio. You're pulling a rob. Huh? You're pulling a rob. What you saying? You know, we can't be accountable for anything. You're fibbing. This thing is heavy, though. You're trying you to blame, blame me for something I never did. What you about? Sword of Omens. Give me sight beyond sight. This thing is what, like five, six pounds? It's a heavy sword. Yeah, we we're playing around with it earlier. Dang, I still have a bowl of catfish. Try to knight somebody. Oh, it doesn't even look like I made a dent. No? In the catfish. Oh, in the fish? Yeah. How many can you get in the pan? Oh, are you frying two pans at a time? No. No. I thought you were going to fry two at a time. You know what? I should call this Excalibur. G2 Excalibur. I need to try to find a place to hang it. Now, Marlon has a bunch of swords and weapons in his, uh, <laughs> on his wall. Why is that funny? You snitching now, too. No, it's a good thing. He's proud of his weapons collection. Oh. No, it's an awesome collection. He's got like size and all kinds of stuff. He might even have like a Klingon bat lift in there. It's pretty cool. But he's got these big old snakes in there, and it's pretty scary. Snakes? Yeah, he's got like a 20 foot boa constrictor in his house. Oh. Like an albino. Snake. I'm scared though, but I want to get a snake for the boys. Yeah? You're scared, but you're going to get a snake. I do. I want to get a snake. You know what's going to happen? It's going to end up loose in your house. Yeah, I've heard. You won't be able to sleep. I have a friend that has a freaking, uh, has two, um, what is she called? I mean, what are they called? They're called. Um, you got to help me out here. I don't know your friend. Big spiders. What are they called? Tarantulas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She and sure does. It, it, it never happened. They get loose. And it never happened. She says, they, I can't find them just randomly. She's like, I can't find them. Tar yep. Tarantula. Yep. I'll never go to her house. Can you believe that? Nope. Nope. We can we can change the subject. Who even does that? They're probably not human. <laughs> I'm just saying. Probably not. <clears throat> I'm all agreeing. Probably not. Probably not. I'm just hey, saying. Hey, why ain't this... nobody in the kitchen? What's going on up in there? Because you in here. I'm taking a break. Are you? I should get you a chair so they can see you. Oh. They're coming for you. They want some fish. You know, it's just unfortunate. What's unfortunate? Just like, I don't know. Tell us what you're thinking. You're so melancholy. Just might need another moment of prayer. Uh-oh. People outside. Well, what happened? You tell me. I hey, they know. could be going to a party. <laughs> them? Yeah. <laughs> we have to think the worst, you know? We can assume the best.
I mean, it's back story. on you. What you doing in the kitchen now? That story earlier was pretty sad. Yeah, it was. We're going to focus on the positive, right? Huh? We're going to focus on the positive? Do you want to? No, I am. My feet just turned hurt. That's all. I'm fine. My feet just really hurting right now. You know what would help your feet? Let me put it on my slides. No, these will help you. Hey, you know what these do right they ain't here? They going to help me. I'm going to put my slides. Oh, no. Slides. The G2, the G2 oh, house slippers. You, you know why I got these slides? Ooh, where? Oh, they did help. The Dollar Tree? Oh. <laughs> where you get them? That was good. I had to clap one time. <laughs> Just one time. I couldn't do a double clap. Hey, yeah. inquiring minds want to know. Not the Dollar Tree. They have Nike on them. Do oh, they? Nike up in the uh, Dollar Tree. These oh, slides, they're up in there. These slides were like fucking. Oops. <laughs> hey. These slides are like three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. It's like you know, there's some people out there that be like, "These was and they real, real serious." Mm -hmm. These weren't three hundred dollars. I know you got them from the Dollar Tree. Because you're serious, but I'm not. Yeah, you spell them with two Ks. That's why they're a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I said you're serious, but I'm not. Should have been the other way around. <laughs> These candles are cool. Uh, are they on the next scent? What? Are they, did they make it to the next layer? Did what make it to the next layer? The candles. Oh. Are we having the same conversation? You said the candles are cool. I asked you a question like, what you talking about? I want to try this mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we need to make sure that's not poisonous. You going to put a little in a bowl? You're right. I was just going to go. Heathen. That's um, what left-handed people do. Where are the bowls? Uh oh, there's more popo. I know, and that's what I was like. <sighs> they probably have to jump someone's car. We're going to think the best, right? They're probably what? They have to jump someone's car. Who? Wait, what? Ooh, this kitchen. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just zooming in on all the dishes. Wait, where you at? There you go. Okay, that's a little close. <laughs> you, you get aggressive with the camera sometimes, you know? Mm. See, it burn your mouth, huh? I didn't even try it. You lie. Snitch. <laughs> oh. And then you hand me the bowl, like, yeah, go ahead, burn your mouth. That's why I pay attention to this stuff. Like, mm. All right, like I don't, I don't know about my own cooking sometimes. Yeah, I just don't want to burn my tongue like you did. Like here, you burn your tongue too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sabrina, sample size is like a half a serving. She got sample sizes like my dad. Stop playing. I ain't playing. Mm. I've seen your sample size before. Man, when it gets that crust on the top. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dang. Oh, no. Hey. We got one fish that didn't make it. Why? That one fish didn't make it. Why didn't emergency, they make it? Emergency, emergency, 911. I'm in here to save this fish. What happened? And the crust came out. Oh, no. What? Hmm. Hey. Uh-oh. Hey. <laughs> in that crazy face for him. I'm just gonna go to the uh, basement. Can't nobody see you, girl. Mm. You don't want anyone to see her eating. Although she's done several podcasts with her eating, that's not even tearing true. it up. That's not even true. Really? Should I pull up some of the old ones and put them on while we're? I'm cooking? saying that's not true. That I'm, I'm not eating. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Like, oh, you know I can't turn the camera, so you know. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is that gum? Oh, she put her mask on. That's why life she sounds be, like that. But life would be easier if you had the mic on so you can hear exactly what was coming at. If I had the mic on? <laughs> the headphones. <laughs> was it good? It's good, y'all. No, it is. I'm just excited. <laughs> Won't that creepy? Won't that a little creepy? There's a little something. What? Okay. But <laughs> I thought you wanted to play a game, but I just said, what? I thought you were going to play dominoes. Oh, I can get them out. Are you are you to the point where you uh, don't have to get up every two seconds? Oh, no. I got these fish. How many fish I got left? Um, it's going to be coming up with random thoughts. I thought she, she looked at me. I, got, I thought you well, wanted to play a game. I got like 13 I gave you that left. impression. Huh? You got what? 13 left. 13 left? See? The fellas are going to really appreciate you for that. And you see what happened, right? You ate two pieces of fish and then something happened to one. You know what I'm saying? Why are you looking at me like that? What happened to one of them? You just said the, the skin fell off. Yeah, but, you know, it's all right. Yeah, we need to try that. Make sure that, you know, everything's so want anyone to hurt themselves eating that one. Huh? What you say? I know if we keep taste testing this food, we're not even going to be able to see time uh, once it's ready to go. What you said? I can't hear you. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that girl. Why she up in there texting like that? I don't know. What's going on? You're a fan? I do. Did you make faces with me? I probably did. Actually, did I did before, previously. Wait, wait. We, tr we tried the fish. We tried the mac and cheese. Don't we need to tr try them? Do you mind putting it in the same bowl? No. It's all going to the same place? I'm just not. I don't understand why them grains are sizzling that hard when I turned it really low. Ooh, ow. Turn it off. Turn it off? Ooh, yeah. Things have been on for like two hours, huh? Mm-hmm. You got good fish fillets, too. Look how big they are. Mm. I got this next one. It's huge. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Man, everything is super hot. Is it supposed to be cold or something? Look, in that butter is melted. This is in the cube melted. Here you go. Oh, it is. You gonna be trying to burn me? You be trying to set me up? I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this over here. You can probably see the smoke. That's hot. Mmm, but it smells good. You put nutmeg and cinnamon on here? Oh, You can yes. smell it. Missed an ingredient. You smell it? Just taste it, because I missed an ingredient. No, I'm going to I'm gonna have to let that sit for This thing is hot. <sighs> That's hot. Mmm. You know, so weird. This has been out of the uh, oven for, what, 20 minutes? What did you say? It's been out of the oven for like 20 minutes? Nah. No. No? Oh, man. 20 minutes. Sabrina, this is good. Oh, they you put are. the almond stuff in here or in the cornbread? Um, the, they ain't going to be none for G2. I'm sorry. Okay. Huh? This is good. This is good. Are you going to the bathroom? <laughs> I just went to get my own bowl. Oh, yeah. 
Yang tu info. Naga, that's it. Smell it. I cook it. I know. We smell the cinnamon and nutmeg. That's all good. Did you smell it? Yeah. With the mac and cheese. That's all coming on. I know. So things go together perfectly. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Mm. See with the cornbread too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Putting it down. You want your stool? You said your feet were hurt. No, they're better. They really are. Like, I guess the shoes really did change it. Yeah. I'll put this there in case you want it. Like, none in the oven. Nope. Ooh, look at that. Which fish has a skin for? Ooh, look that at one. that pan of fish. Look at all that fish. Ooh, wee. Man. This should be illegal. Oh, keep it up. What? You didn't see nothing. I just make sure everything was cool. I thought there was a fly over there, so I had to swipe it. It's good, right? It's impressive. What are you talking about? Mm? It's impressive. Mm. Put it down, girl. That is impressive. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. This is the last thing to sample, huh? Yep. I'm going to probably put a fork in there. <laughs> I think you really tried to get me to burn my tongue. That's why I laugh. <laughs> I know. You got a, you got an evilness about you, girl. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. You ain't right. So you want to tell people like one at a time how you made this? Like what do you do with your catfish? How'd you do this? I put it in the bathtub and then I soaked it between my toes. Yeah. I made this catfish with my nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I don't know if I want that catfish or not. It's in the bathtub and you made it with your toes. My nose. Oh, with your with your nose. <laughs> yeah, but what'd you do? Because it was good. And uh, the cornmeal is like a, a panko, like it's yeah, super I crispy. Yeah, cornmeal, and the cornmeal is like slapping, man. I never cooked with this, and this is an amazing ingredient. I put some cornmeal, I put some cayenne pepper that you can't even take. Like some of these probably are spicy. I guarantee you some of these are probably super spicy, you know? You think they're super spicy? Well, I mean, with that cayenne. Oh, like uh, more toward the bottom? Because you said the seasoning goes to the bottom? Yeah. But I'm about to put some more cornmeal because I ran out. Oh, dang. And I got more fish going on. What, what, what? Mm. Oh, so how did you do your greens? My Tell greens, the people why I go to the restroom. Put some peppers, put some onions, put some vinegar. <laughs> What else did I put? You keep telling the folks why I use the restaurant. I'll be right back. Um, some vinegar, some ham hocks, uh, some fresh collard greens, got them from Fred Myers. And actually, this catfish is bomb. I, I was uh, suggesting to get fresh catfish from Sprouts because I've had that before. But I got this catfish frozen, a frozen pack. From Fred Myers, and it is actually really good, and it's exactly what I was looking for. Cause the uh, one from Sprouts, I don't know, it was a little bit fishy, you know. But this is really good, really, really yummy. Like exactly what I wanted my food to look like. So proud of that. 
And I make some cornbread, put some honey in there, put some vanilla, put some brown, did I put some brown sugar? I can't remember. Brown sugar. You know, let me send a picture to my son real quick. And my friend. And yeah. They're like this girl's being boring. I'm just cooking and I, you know, I had a shop for it today. So, you know, I'm just a little bit like mellow. It's 9.42. It's past my bedtime. I gotta be up early in the morning to serve some more meals. So, you know. What kind of morning meals? What you gotta do in the morning? I, I gotta go to G2 up in the morning and serve some meals for uh L and I. L and I? <laughs> You and I <laughs> for L and I. <laughs> All righty then. I lied it, and I meant Q and I, the um, quarantine and isolation. Yeah, we work with the county, so we have folks that are in some uh, mac and cheese, some garlic mashed potatoes in there, and some like uh, ooh barbecue chicken press. Yeah, but I didn't quite put barbecue in there today. I no, no, but I made some. <laughs> oh, wow, you just set the door on me? <laughs> I hope it locked. See how she be acting? She be tripping. Kind of looks like there's a fire. In the kitchen, but it's actually a candle. Oh, Rain, we're making uh, fried catfish, collard greens, candied yams. Oh, uh, what's up, Rain? What Yay! else? You're watching. Get it? That's uh, so I, I that's the friend that I showed you the picture of earlier that I drove to uh, the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, what are you doing? So I was like, let me send you to show you real quick. What else? Cornbread? What, what else are you making? What a good friend. Yeah? Nice, nice. I like it. What am I making? <laughs> Collard greens. Uh, friends familiar with some of my cooking, but not this. Because I used to make, like, you know, tacos a whole bunch. But Yeah, let me zoom in on you. Turn around the other way. Cornbread. Turn the other way, Sabrina. Oh, well, I got the... There um, you go. Bam. Mac and cheese. I got the um, sweet potatoes. You know, sometimes food look a little rough, but it tastes really yummy. That's these. No, oh, that's good. Boom. And I'm sampling that right now. The catfish, I'm impressed. Ooh, look how heavy that catfish is. Ooh, man, that's a pan of catfish you know, right there. Doing my thing. And the collard greens, right? On the stove. Ooh, yes, yes. You want to take that lid off? I'll try to, I'll try to get the shot up in there. Oh, no. I'm in here. Oh no! What you mean? Oh no! <laughs> Boil all the, all the water out. I did something really bad. Uh oh. <laughs> is, the, is this camera on? Yep. Is this camera working? It's working. <laughs> you melted the. I hope this wasn't your favorite utensil. <laughs> what what utensil was it? You just really don't like my plastic spoons, really. So you're gonna destroy it because you want I the metal spoon? That's why I need the metal one. We've been fighting all it's night. About my, my plastic spoons because right. she's stabbing my pan, my pot with the ready? metal spoon. Wow. Are you ready? No, I'm not. I'm traumatized. <laughs> you just showed me that she destroyed my spoon and said I didn't do it on purpose. Ooh, look at them hammer hawker. Look at that hammer hawker. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, woo. Roll that beautiful bean really footage. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. You put your foot in it. I told you I put it in the bath and I put my nose in it. <laughs> You know, mm. I did a little something. Mm -hmm. I did a little something. She did a thing. I, I can't even lie about that. 
still don't burn my lip, but that's fine. It's a beautiful night out here. You need some air. Mm hmm. You hot? Sabrina. What a that's a good friend. You hot? No, it's fine. You good? Yep. I gotta open those. Hey, stop making me taste this food. I'm gonna be full by the time dinner gets here. Oh, that's fine. That's not fine. I'm gonna eat it all together. Mm. Mm -mm. It's a late dinner. Who eats dinner at 10 p.m.? What you talking about? Man, we work all day long. We not stop. I'm at, it's a question. Hey, do you want to turn this into a table, ladders, uh, ladders and chairs match? Yes, you know I do. D-Bond, get the tables. Okay. You are WWE fan, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Are you using a good part of your camera? Yeah. Um, hey, now look. It's floating. So does that mean it's almost done? I'm I'll trying to learn. Sure. Do you want to take the floater out and put it on here? But you got to grab the plate. So you're not but floating. is it floating enough? So you're not dragging it across. Look. Is it floating enough? He's shaking. Who's shaking? This one. You think he's done? Who? Look, he's floating. Well, no, he's so big. I, I mean, they probably are because, like I said, I do three minutes on each side. Do you? So, has it been three minutes? So I do shake, 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 shake your booty. Oh, shake your booty. Oh, shake, 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 shake your booty. That's how the song Ooh, goes. Oh, look at that catfish. That Ooh, one's big. Wee. I flip it over because it's still making that like sizzle noise. Sure. Like it's not done. Okay. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm a I'm a natural. Get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's trying to y'all, she's trying to burn another spoon. <laughs> that ain't funny. It is to me. <laughs> Why are you trying to destroy my spoon? Wow, you melted one spoon to the other. You actually did destroy two spoons. Look at that. No, that's just one spoon. That's one mess messed up spoon. It was uh, connected to the oven or the stove top. You know, things happen when you're cooking good food. Consequences and repercussions. Where? Right, there's going to be. At your mama's house. <laughs> hey, you know what? Why do you keep bringing my mama up? You see the abuse that I have to deal with? And she yeah. just smiles at me. Sometimes she laughs. Or snorts. Or spits out stuff like uh, on yesterday's show. When? Uh, yesterday when you spit all over the place. Oh, I almost harmed the electronics. You were, <laughs> you were worried about yourself. I was worried. Shouldn't I be? You squeezed lemon juice in my face earlier tonight. And you're okay. Now you're dangerous. I got to be careful. But anyways. Oh, moving on. Please don't forget to share and like and subscribe. You want me to do something with that butter? Or did you move it already? I don't know. Wow. Oh, I didn't even... Drink the Moscato. I told Kendra I was going to drink on her behalf. Where's Kendra at? She is home recovering. Kendra, should we, in the comments, going woo, woo? Well, she's recovering. She ain't feeling good. Oh, she's not feeling good? I'm yeah. sorry. I'm about to get you guys in the kitchen at the same time. Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm going to put your uh, two-ounce Pepsis down here. She bought these little cans of Pepsi's that are like big enough just to swallow some pills. <laughs> yep, this is just for my daily medicine. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be the cutest little Pepsi's I've ever seen in my darn life. 
Yeah, I just don't know what they're good for aside from taking medicine in the morning. You think these are done now? I'm not sure anybody would take. They're not really swimming. Um, yeah, they look a little brownie, right? Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Shake, shake, shake. All right. <laughs> you You're like, okay, one? it's good. <laughs> I just go wait till you, you said something. <sighs> Man. <sighs> Uh, this camera went dark again. I really look it back up. So we now got the Raising Equity Summit 2022 coming up here real soon. Again, you don't want to miss that. If you need a ride, give us a call. 360-373-3000. We operate seven days a week. Don't stop, won't stop. YouTube cab is there for you. If I can give a shout out to all the people in the community that um are <laughs> what's it called? Alliances. 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 <laughs> what's it? Alliance. <laughs> we got a what is this, Hunger Games? Alliances? <laughs> Allies? Advocates? I, I, I don't know what the words you're trying to use. Miming them isn't going to help. <laughs> what? Do I don't like shadows? Shout outs. Shout outs? I do like shout outs, but I don't... <laughs> what? What are you doing? Nope, my mic is still on. And the wireless mic is still on. It's unfortunate. Because <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> okay. Who do you want to shout out? Go ahead. Our community people. Oh, Who's the community people? All the people that be hitting up our lives daily. Okay. Shout them out. Be talking to and working with and then we see around. Should I do it? Yeah. Come on and do it. Come on to the camera. Bring your stool over here. You want to sit down. <laughs> what are you like? You want to shout him out and not be on camera? You're uh, invisible. I want to give a shout out to Deborah. Okay. Whoop, whoop, girl. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Okuye. I want to give a shout out to Christina. Let's give a shout out to Mark. <laughs> Let's give a shout out. To those at KCR, Matt, <laughs> Brummer, Housing. Am I missing a couple people? Uh, you're missing a lot of people. How about uh, Pastor Ellington? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he's he's in bed now, so he's not hearing this. So when you do see it, though, woo, woo, Pastor. Well, what about the, see you soon. What about the G two people? <laughs> We'll give them applause. How's that? And what happens if they don't act right? We hold it down. Oh, Go and get the cane. Because ain't nobody not acting right. We all act right most of the time. Go and get the cane. That's what happens. Ain't none of y'all need that, right? We don't need the cane. Cause... <laughs> I'm just so, saying. <laughs> I thought I was in capping. You weren't capping? But no, it's it's very appreciated. Uh, those at the, what was that um, meeting that uh, was held earlier? What, where I addressed the city of Bremerton? Up from Slavery Initiative? No. Sons of Samoa? Si. Black Gangster Disciples? <laughs> Crips? Bloods? What, what are you doing? I don't understand the gang signs, Sabrina. <laughs> Those who are at the that's an S, two S's. 
Those who are, you know. We still don't know what that is. The CPS services. Oh, CPS, yes. DCYF. DCYF. <laughs> Let me get that. YWCA. <laughs> I'm telling you, are we missing anybody? Wait a minute. How did we go from gangs to CPS? No, we didn't. You did. Be did you see? It was a shout out to those in the community who, um, you know, y'all y'all are what's up. And that's what I'm about. So if y'all thought y'all were going to come up in here and turn up, we can turn up together. Or As a community. You, how about you turn up in the camera? Because <laughs> you're off to the side. <laughs> what I, I see. What do you see? I don't know what I see. But I'm, uh, you spy with your little eye? I'm not sure. I think I'm speaking for you. I appreciate these people for... Uh, no, you're speaking for us. For uh, huh? being cool with G2. I don't know. I was going to say like being a part of G2 or being with G2. Man, you know what I'm saying? all of the above. So How's that? That's what's up. You know, whenever you see a new organization or something, or at least me and my eyes, that's like, what's up? Uh, the scallum, right? Scallum. Scallops? Port, Port Gamble. <laughs> Port Gamble. Okay. I don't want to, like, which of that? Like, the, the scallum tribe, right? Mm -hmm. Scallum, scallum. So it's still tight with them, right? <laughs> yeah. Whoever they are that you're trying to acknowledge right now. <laughs> I'm really trying. So that's you are. I, up. Hey, I'm we really appreciate trying. you. It's the thought that counts, right? A for effort. Um, anybody in the community who needs something to do, come on out to G2. We love volunteers. We love uh, finding something to, for y'all to do. Um, help me out in the um, with the food. Um, help file. Help learn some new office skills. Like you have your driver's license. Come on in to drive because we are a great transportation uh, service in the community. Um, we offer so much for the community as well as all these other organizations. Just give us a call. And even if you need uh, someone to talk to, come on in because G2, I feel like, is a safe place. So if you ain't feeling safe right now, come on into G2. We're going to take you in. It's like not right now. It's after hours. But Dang. You know, Give us a call too. Sometimes we pick up the line yeah, after yeah, hours. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the line's always open. We got a little bit of everything, right? Concessions, yeah. drivers, food prep, construction, yard maintenance, social media. Come a little on, bit of now. everything. Yeah, see, social media is a big one. And I know there's a lot of you out there who are good with social media. Mm -hmm. So if you want to come on in and learn some new podcasting or teach us some things, then that's always, um, I got to work on this catfish real quick. I said enough. You said enough? I think that's a good shout out. I think you did a good job. Excellent. You know, we got, uh, again, the event that's coming up Friday, March 25th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Marvel Williams Center, $50 registration. And then on Saturday, March 26th, from 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Shout uh, out it's to free uh, Daryl Riley for yep. uh, coming through yesterday and then and putting that on. <laughs> Shout out to him and what, what he's providing for the community and what he's putting out there and what he's trying to change. Mm -hmm. So we always need the those type of voices, source. right? Yeah. We always need those type of voices. For sure. Yeah, I like it. I think you did an excellent job. You know what I'm saying? Did I miss anybody? Well, we're always going to miss people. There's so many people that we work with. I know. Like you say in a prayer, you know, you just ask God to protect over all those that you miss. So that's what I'm going to do now here. Except ask, for the ones that are saying bad stuff behind our back, Ben. You know what? Actually, that's not true. There's nothing that what? you can say because those people online, when you're in the universe world, like in the internet world, yeah, th those can be your biggest people because they'll watch for the longest time. Because well, I'm talking about the ones that might be hating behind the scenes. But those sometimes are your are your biggest watchers. So you say that they they, they the think longest. that they're hating, but they're actually love. There is from deep down inside. Yeah, they're just confused. Yeah, like let's not bring it negative because I wasn't trying to have any negative vibes at all. But from look on your hating, face, I don't see any negativity. People that are hating on the other side, it's like there's no need to hate. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't believe there's ever a need to hate because we can all win. We can all be somebody and we can all do something. You know what I'm saying? I like we, it. We can all be what what you want to be. Facts. Period. Like there's nothing to hate on. Like we're we're this is a growing community. G2 it is for everybody. We're we're grow together, gather together. You know what I'm saying? You need help come through. Um you want to learn podcasts come through. You know, help us with some things and grow your own podcast. That's fine. There ain't nothing wrong with that. 
ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? There is room for everybody to eat. <laughs> There's room for everybody to eat. That's what Sabrina believes. Facts. But you just got to do it in an honest way. When you do it in a hating way, that ain't nice. That ain't cool. You know, because we can all learn together and grow together. That's that's the thing. Because people are going to grow. And people do want to learn. Period. They do. They do. And, and it's fine if people want to grow. And, and then they, they want to take something from this. And, and then uh, be... Uh, what's it called? They want to be empowering and what they've learned from us that's amazing that's like what we want to see you know what i'm saying and uh that's how we grow by seeing other people grow i say hey, do it but but what i say is don't feel afraid to ask and come learn with us learn by our side you know what i'm saying we need volunteers so if you want to come give your time out and learn some things teach us some things do all the above mm -hmm. that's i think i think it's fine i think it's amazing it's just at the same time we're learning right beside anybody that's coming in here ourselves. So that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? So when you you come in here and you try to take something and it's like, oh, that's a great idea. And I'm just going to run with it. You know, it's fine. But at the same time, we're not perfect. And you're not perfect. Like, no, why try to be perfect? Because there ain't no such thing. There ain't no such thing as being perfect. Why you made it look like that? Are you perfect? No, I didn't say that. You perfect, I just, huh? No. You perfect. He thinks no. he's perfect. But there's I didn't no say such that. thing. Because he thinks he's dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why you just been snitching all night? Yeah, you just a hater. What? No, you hater. Why are you snitching? That's fine. I'm just, you know, I really do. I mean, I want to love our community. <laughs> I grew up here, and I have sons that need to grow up here. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just want it to be an open, loving place—a place that's like, you know, with open arms and like. That we can grow from each other and learn and and hey, do you need this? Do you want this? And I feel like our community is 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 closing our arms and right. it's shutting down. And it's like sad at a time that we're as a country struggling. You know what I'm saying? It's not just one person. As a country, we're struggling emotionally, financially, damn, physically, like all types of things. You know what I'm saying? So if we can just use each other because we're all going through it to talk about it, work about it, like. You know, let's go on a walk together. Let's go read a book together. Let's go make dinner together. You know, we're, we're all in this together. G2, baby, that's what it's about, right? G2, baby, that's what it's about. I I'm like just, it. I'm just saying. No, it's good. It's I wish they could see your whole face. I know. That's, that's actually, <laughs> that's if I was better. watching this, I'd be irritated. But people don't want to comment because... For some reason, when we can be friends and we can be together, like help a girl out and be like, hey, girl, let me see your face, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let me know because I'm over there just talking away and y'all just listening to my Well, lips. you're on a roll. I couldn't stop you. Y'all just listening to my lips. You're going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You were doing it. But those, are true, those are true feelings. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's what G2 is about. That's why they interrupt At least you. that's what I hope G2 is about because that's why I'm here. Mm. You know? Don't feel the love? I do, actually. I think we are a good family. And, you know, uh, yeah, I think it gives out that family love. I do. And that's why I had to shout out everybody. And I hope that the other people feel the same way because I see the way um, my coworkers and, and other family members within Gather Together Go Together work with these people. You know what I'm saying? I see how Stephanie works with people. I see how Rob is. I see how Ernest is. I see how Tony is. I see how we all are up in there. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Keep on going. You're preaching, girl. I just I see hot. it on a daily. I know I just go up in there sometimes and I make meals and I do this and I do that. But I see so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I just, I'm funny. Like, I mean some real stuff, but I'm funny, man. I'm funny. All right. Let, let's go ahead and give Sabrina a horn. She's dropping facts there. Can't say nothing against that. She's she's all one hundred. She's a thousand. Down for the cause. You know? you, you, you want to do something with your family? Call up G two. Hey G two, how can you help me? Yeah, I mean we might be busy sometimes, but shoot, we might be able to. Hey G two, I need some food. Where you at? Hey, we over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing. No, it's all good. All good. I like but it. It's mostly for the most part. You know, it's just I, I laugh because we we be really busy. So it's like I don't know if we can just drop everything and be like, here you go, here's all this. 
but for the most part, we try. No, for sure. No, I appreciate that. It's good. You know, it's, it's one thing you can talk about how you feel about it, but to have other people talk about it and have that buy-in is important. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I appreciate you for that. I love that. Like we go out, we, we, you know, we have birthday parties, we have things, you know, and it's like, it, it really is. It's like a family. We get together like a family. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. And that's what's uh, organic about our situation. You know, we treat people the way we treat each other. <laughs> I had to laugh at that because you know family can get rough, you know. He said, "Girl, stop." <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it can get rough. That's what happens with families, though, right? It ain't always unicorns and puppies. I mean, but that's reality. So if nobody wants the truth, then you know what I'm saying. Also, don't come to G two. Sometimes it's unicorns that have speared puppies uh -huh, in their guts. If you don't want the real love, though, because Stephanie, I see it. She loves, but she, we're all honest. I believe it. She gives you that honest love. She's going to cuddle you, call to you, and, 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 and tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm going to shut up. No, no, you're good. You're looking at me like, girl. No, because you, you're doing your thing. I like it. But I'm I see with you. it. I'm telling you, I see it. With my own pupils. <laughs> with your own pupils, huh? Like, I see it. I see it. the way people come in there and, you know. Oh, that's good. Can't help everybody that doesn't want the help. But you know what I'm saying? You can try to help those who are wanting the help. <laughs> yeah, 100, 100. Or don't want the help, whatever I said. You know, we're going to get the uh, camera in here so we can show people how we change the studio up. Huh? I said we're going to get the camera in here so we can show people how the uh, studio changed. Yeah. All right. Down to my last five or four. What? Minutes. What? Dang. Put it down, girl. It's damn near midnight. She did the thing. Stop the cap. It's 10 o'clock. It's damn near midnight. See, that's why you got to get a snack, because if Sabrina cooks, you don't know when you might eat. It's going to happen, but you're just not sure exactly when it's going to happen. It's going to be good. Man, I got to get my glasses right, y'all, because this ain't right. That's why I keep coming in, because, shoot, my eyes are not right. You know what's happening? You change cameras. So if you had your other camera there, the you would be like... I know. I put that camera in the kitchen so I can zoom in on your food. I know, you know but where's saying? the other one? Don't you have two of them? Yeah, but I don't have that one connected because I'm using That's that fine. for. I know you're happy to have this nice camera back. What is it? I got used to the. You know what? I'm putting these on. You don't want to wear them. I am because it's like we could be like, no, we... <laughs> and and we wouldn't even know. I do know. I've been doing this for a minute now, and we both got headsets, like we normally do when we're on location. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me take this off your face. Bam. There you go. I can get into screen. All right, y'all. It's Friday night, and I told you we was gonna do some karaoke. So here we go. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, I guess you did talk about that day, didn't you? Woo! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> this is what you want me to put the headphones on? For? <laughs> See, I don't mean to, but you put headphones on, you oh, feel like a whole up. different world. Oh, you don't have the headphones on. Let's <laughs> like that I'm, was a setup. Yeah. I'm up in the studio now. Oh, man. Go ahead, girl. Turn up. Just kidding. But if y'all heard what I heard, y'all would be happy. <laughs> What's that say? Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. Anyways. What y'all shows y'all be watching? Y'all be watching these good shows? I mean, uh, there's so many shows out there that's like, whoop, 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 whoop. We got that Bel Air. We got that Euphoria, which is like discretion advisory. Discretion is advised, you know? So the Euphoria. We got the Power with the Tommy and the Power Power's Force. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. We got the... Uh, the card. What's we that one Star about? Trek. Oh, Star Trek. See? Yeah. Holla at them. Let them know. 
The Batman was that good? Did you Bat see Batman last Sunday? I'm about to spoil it. <laughs> I ain't oh, not. Batman. <laughs> I ain't at all. I'm not at all, but I really did like Spider Man. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> she liked a movie. She saw a movie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, she, first of all. It was good. But we went to go see Spider-Man, too. So we watched fair. Batman. We I got saw Spider-Man also. I got my, my men confused. <laughs> <laughs> Batman was, it was tight, so. Did it seem like three hours? <laughs> Nah, it wasn't like, oh, this is pushing on. I was looking at my watch, so like, all right, cool, another hour. All right, cool, two hours is down, boom. But it wasn't like, oh, this is just dragging on. When is it going to be over? Hey, can I ask you a question? Yo. Look at the camera. Because <laughs> you keep going out of frame. They want to be able to see your face. They don't want to see my face because they don't even want to talk to me. S Sabrina, Sabrina. All right, answer me this question. What happened to my movie candy? So first of all, where's the candy? You were like, hey, how many kids do you have? I was like, you know, I got this one, that one, and this one, you know, because I got a lot of kids, and I always got an extra one. And uh, he was like, all right, you know, holla that way, and I got some, you know, little goodies for them. All right, cool. Yeah, I made everyone sandwiches, right? I was like, hey, monkey, what's up? And they were looking like, oh, what is she doing? Why is she bothering us? You know, we're trying to watch a movie. And I was like, oh, no, not here to bother Mr. C said that y'all got something good for me, right? You know, you guys have something. They're like, well, you know, I, well, I was like, your mom got something. And he was like, you know, like, dad, what's up? And he was like, oh, you know, I'll grab it for you. <laughs> you know, and he handed me all this goodies. Like, I got a bag. I, got yeah, I thought it was Halloween up in here because I got some good D's. Like, I but I specifically <laughs> said I made you sandwiches and then you got candy. Anyways, so then I handed it out to the kids, period. End of story. And we were happy. I mean, you want past not even, you know, I love red vines. You and then three days the later, he was back. like, I didn't get any of that candy. <laughs> I was like, oh, are those kids over there eating my red vines? Look, I made some bomb sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? Lettuce, oven roasted turkey, all from the deli. Profile, Pepperoni. Genoa. <laughs> hey, salami. that's my son's name. Don't, don't salami. start. That's what was on there. Genoa salami. Don't stop the cap. Pepperoni. I put on some of the, the, the cheese bread. I melted it in there. I cut up some grape tomatoes, put them on there, put some mustard on there, cut them, put them in the sandwich bags. I'm like, okay. We're going to have a moment of silence. I'm just saying, I put it down. No. I thought I was going to get some red shh, shh, shh. Do we, do we hear the, um, can we hear those last fish frying? <laughs> Is that what they're doing? I don't know why you don't keep this on. Oh. Wow. That might be the reason why I don't keep it on. Or there could be other reasons. <laughs> Dang. I need a whole new uh, thing for this. It's never a boring day with Sabrina. Good Lord, Sabrina. That's a lot of fish. Yeah, you told me. Let's try 396 fishes. Man, for... Ernest, Rob, Tony, them alone. You know what I mean? And then Layla can hang with them. Layla will destroy that fish. That's a wicked 10-year-old. She is no joke. She puts it down. Ooh, I got a low battery. Let me fix that real quick. Bam. Put the camera on you. You got to have a full charge on your laptop now. Oh, Good. God. That's been charging all day. No, no, no. I put my charger on yours. No, but it has been charging all day. Why would you say no, no, no? No, because you were using a regular like cell phone charger. That's why your computer wasn't charging. My computer can charge from zero, like in maybe an hour and a half. And so when you're, I mean, we have the same computer. So when it was only half charged, even after all that time, I'm like, yeah, you need the power box for that, you know? All right. Ooh, girl. Do you like buttermilk or can I just toss it? It's a Let me little, toss it. It's thick. I don't know what to do with buttermilk. 
Make some butter eggs. That doesn't sound tasty, actually. Butter eggs? With buttermilk? Who tripping? I don't know. I never had it. It just doesn't sound great. You know? It could be. Can I get help? I'm not tall enough. <clears throat> that goes under and over. All under the way on the top. That some height, huh? butter is a disaster. You know, you did that another time, but I was able to, I left it on the counter, right? It didn't all melt out. And it got it kind of hard, and I was able to save it. It stayed in the cube form. It was crazy. Dang, that, those greens have cooked for hours. Those things are good, but I know those are spicy, so. No, they might not be. Uh, I might not try those. I might try one bite and have a bunch of milk ready to go. That's ridiculous. Uh, you're the one that put some red chili flakes on your mouth and was burning for 30 minutes. No, no, no. That was uh, the cayenne pepper. The fact is, you put something hot on your mouth and it was burning for like 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Oh, golly. Oh, gee, will it curse? <laughs> Hey now. Ooh, look at that girl. You're an all-star. Hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> Get the show on. Can't pay all that glitters and gold. Only shooting stars. No? Oh, you know the lyrics to that song? Yeah, because it was actually a karaoke song. Oh, that's all I knew. And it was on a uh, and it was on Shrek. Shrek? Hey, donkey! Donkey! Yeah, pretty much. Hey, donkey! I like Shrek. <laughs> My son said <laughs> he did some Shrek joke and he was like, the only thing uglier than Shrek is you are so... I don't know what he said and I was like... <laughs> he was talking to you? Yeah. It was pretty rude. But, you know, he just really tries to be funny, you know? He's not trying to be rude. He's, just He's trying to be kid. funny, haha. -ha. Man, GQ is going to eat good tomorrow. My cup link. Ooh. Echo, what's the weather tomorrow? Oh, it's going to rain? When am I going to be able to wash my car? Is your car as dirty as mine? Oh, I took mine to the cleaners last week, a couple weeks ago. I <laughs> to the cleaners. Oh, really? I took it to get clean. That's messed up. Well, when I had to give somebody a ride to the airport, I didn't want them to see. Well, actually, no, not in the inside. Never mind. Mine, you know, no matter what week I do it. Next thing you know, I put my kids in the car, and it's just tore up. It's tore up? You Instant. got the uh, fish home? Instantly. You think those floaties are good? Yes. Look at them, though. Take them no, out. I see them. This one is good. Yes, sure. and, and that middle one. That one. Get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the last of it? Yes. All done. Wow. Yeah, that was quick uh pretty quick with only one frying pan. I was surprised when you used the other big one. Yeah, no, it just would have made more of a mess. I'm a mess girl. I don't like that. Uh oh, this one wasn't ready. Oh no, not ready. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it because I don't want to break it anymore. Well, that's okay. Ten out of like twenty. I got too excited. I mean, two out of twenty. 
that aren't really like perfect, that's fine. I got too excited. Dang, that's what I'm talking about. He gets some more tea. I guess it's time to set the table, huh? T-Bond, get the table. Dang, I was like, what just happened? You know, I've been dropping stuff all day. Drop the cap. No, it's true. Drop the suit key twice. Oh. Not my fault. Did I do that? Cut all kinds of stuff with that. It's yeah. a uh, paring knife, but it's a really sharp one. <laughs> Do bad things to you. I'm glad I figured out why that uh, wireless camera wasn't working. I got really stressed out about that for a minute. You know? Yeah, that's good. Just a matter of making sure it was the right wireless, correct? Yep. You want a cold Pepsi? Sure. Oh, there's no cheesecake in here. Man, it's almost time to eat. Water too, just Pepsi. Yeah. Like your auntie said, water with the Pepsi. You want to be able to taste you, right? Okay. Well, there you go. Boom! Bam! Surprise. Oh, goodness. What? I was just looking around the kitchen. and You know, I was talking about the paper towels, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I got paper towels everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like I was having a paper towel party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were. And yes, you do. Oh, I almost choked on my saliva. Not the first time today. <sighs> mm. Take our candles. Take the candles. Hey, I'm going to turn the, uh, the heat off this fireplace. It's pretty warm in here. Yeah, it is. Dang, that catfish is overflowing. I know, it's bomb. Doing good? Yeah, I don't know what you want to do with this oil, but I'm gonna put it in the oven for now. That's what you always do with it. Come on. So funny because you ask me that every time. Oh shoot. <laughs> well, because some people, you know, my mom probably throws it out, throws it on the drain. I don't know what you want to do with this oil. 
I'm putting it in the like you almost say it verbatim every time too. I'm putting it in the oven. Well, you said what? I thought you say it verbatim. <laughs> Literally. Same exact. Sometimes I'll forget because, you know, I won't put anything in the oven for a minute. Well, that's probably why I tell you. Get this camera right. Well, this restroom. Okay. And we're getting there. Woo, boy, I tell you. She put it down. She did her thing today. I'm not even going to pretend. It was hot up in here. But, man, what a Friday night. Fried catfish, like I said, back in the day. Yeah, that fish fry Friday or spaghetti Friday. Thanksgiving in March. It's a treat, man. You know what? And what's so perfect about it is it really feels like, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. You get all that same holiday food, then you get tired of it, right? Like, okay, I'm good with all that stuff. Then a couple months goes past and you're like, man. That sounds good, man. We, we're not going to get that until Thanksgiving. You know, and to have it like in March, it's like just when you start missing it. It's like, yeah, that sounds like it right there. And then here it is. Like, that's what I'm talking about for sure. So definitely special. You know, she's not just cooking for me. You know, we cook for G2 uh, as we continue to do our Cameron's Kitchen on Fridays, we'll put the recipes and the instructions as much as we can, you know, for times when she says, just use the spirit. I, I don't know what use the spirit means. Just keep checking it. But, uh, I just okay. say if you're okay, I'm just saying, are you hot? I'm hot. Look at me. I'm hot. But I look, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. You look fine. You, you're no. chilling. You know what? Usually I'll fight, but I'm 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 like slowly I'm hard headed. I'm stubborn. So I'm starting to figure out I should just say. See what I'm saying? Just nothing was gonna happen because G two got us together and we go together. <laughs> Ain't no fight, no pity. <laughs> What's going on with your hand? Oh, it was about to be a sword. <laughs> a what? A sword? <laughs> a sword. How you feel it? You proud of what you did? I think you did the thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I For can, real. Yeah, I can take a nap right now. You gotta eat, girl. After putting on. And this. I said, but you ever been a cook where you eat as you go, and then when it's time to eat, you don't eat? That was always my mom. Like it's time uh, to eat. Yeah, that's happening. She'd be like, mm, I'm just gonna watch you guys. That catfish looks like it's about to fall off. Look how it's just sitting there on the corner. Like, that is just not even appealing. It's a lot of catfish. It must be like 20 pounds of catfish, huh? It's a lot. You gonna talk to him for a minute while I go to the bathroom? Then we can eat. You know what I'm saying? Yep, I'm about to put them headphones on. Go ahead. I got them long enough to jump to the table. Okay. So for our lucky three viewers, you know what? I wish he was as cool as I was because I'd say for our lucky three viewers, those three that are watching, go ahead and comment. We can do a giveaway. But I'm just not sure that I can say things like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it is a special Friday night. You know, if I could get approval, you know, that would be awesome. You, you uh, lucky viewers would be in for a a treat because I'm I'm a very fun and giving person, you know what I'm saying? Um let's see. Wow. So I uh it is 
ten thirty one, I began to cook at about what was it like? Dang, five thirty six o'clock, five forty five, because I wanted to prep so that hopefully I could be done quicker. But I don't think I could have done this any quicker. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be able to cook with uh, patience. You got to cook with some love. You can't rush it because then it'll be a little bit like, eh, that ain't good, you know? So I did what I had to do in the kitchen. And I think it all came out pretty well. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a good Friday night. Who knows if you are at work, headed to work, chilling at home because it is Friday night. Um, if you're with the kids or if you're just in the room like me around this time, I'll just be getting my little quiet time. Trying to turn on my shows, um, you know, vibing, praying to whatever you pray or uh, writing in your journals, doing what you got to do to feel okay with who you are on this nice night. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be worse. I heard we get in rain tomorrow. Um, and, you know, some of y'all like rain. Some of y'all Washingtonians. I'm here born and raised, but I act like I'm not from here. So the other day I was getting my sons some outfits, right? And I was at Walmart. I picked out these cute little outfits. One of them was a Sonic outfit. The next one was a uh, Spider-Man. And uh, the other one was a Mickey Mouse. And they were like short sleeves and shorts. I just thought they were cute. I just happened to be there. And I was just like, you know what? Let me pick these up for my sons. So I did that. The cashier was like, oh, you look like you over here expecting some sun. And I was like, eh. but then I was like, oh, you know what? I think I am because, you know, I'm so excited for the sunny weather, you know? And he goes, well, welcome to Washington where it's not very sunny. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, I was born and raised here. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't telling me nothing new. I just like the sun, you know? I was like, you know, the sun helps with with them emotions and them feelings, you know? And so this woman was like, well, have you gotten a heat, um, a sunlight? Because they really work. And I was like, oh. and then he was like, your total is blah, 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 blah. And as she was getting ready to tell me more and where they were from, I had to cash out and keep on moving. You know what I'm saying? But we almost there, y'all. We almost to those sunny days. <laughs> it's right over there. I think uh, he's looking for his seat back. Oh, hell. Did I just get pushed? Did I just get pushed? All right, here you go. I got earrings on, so this headphone ain't sitting on quite right. Um, oh, oops, wrong place. Knocking, knocking, na na. La da 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 da. I don't know if y'all wanted to join us and eat. If you wanted to grab a plate of food, grab a snack, oh, yeah. grab your favorite drink, and you can join us as we try and dig into some of this food that I just made. You know, I guess we were trying as we were going, you know. Oh, yeah. I wish I could see you. How, how y'all doing? Okay. So I just wanted to put this out there for y'all real quickly. And if y'all didn't know, we are at, oh, that's Bremerton Housing. Because I was like, who? Oh, we are not there, but we are on the same road as Bremerton Housing. Yeah, so if you go a little bit further to 419 Park Avenue, Bremerton, Washington, you will find G2 right next to that really cool store that a lot of you shop at. What's that store called? Oh, the, uh, co -op. Go the, the co op with that healthy food. You know what I'm saying? I hope I wrote this right because I um well if not, y'all just know 
that I can't see, okay? <laughs> so anyways, good evening, kids up and surrounding areas. How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? I know y'all been here for a while. You, you see, I don't know if you just said sleep or y'all getting a little tired. So I just had to say, night, how y'all doing? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Hit the horn. <clears throat> I just know my voice is getting real mellow because I'm just chilling. I ain't cooking no more. And some of y'all could just be falling asleep. And you know what? That's okay. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe and share button. You know what I'm saying? Even if you just pop it up and hit that share button, that ain't going to hurt nobody. That's just out there sharing the love. I'm sharing the love with you and showing what I cooked tonight. I'm sharing the love just by seeing here tonight. So you can share the love with your people by sharing this live to your friends and your family. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a cool thing that the internet world gives us. You know what I'm saying? You can tag your friends or don't tag your friends. You can share it in groups. You can share it on pages. You can share it in Facebook. You can share it in the text message. You can go straight on to the YouTube if you're on Facebook. And you can copy that link. And you can send it in text, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, and Facebook, wherever you'd like to share it. But if not, you know what? It is what it is. We still going to be here. And we still going to be talking. If you just want to just keep it on the down low. Like, we your secret. Is G2, wait, is the conduit your secret? Do you watch us late at night when you're feeling tired and you don't want nobody to know that you're watching what you, what you watch it? <laughs> like, I'm about to watch, uh, what do you call it, Cameron's Kitchen on Friday night. I want to see what Mr. Cameron and Kendra is cooking up. And then they turned it on today on March 11th. And they were like, hold up. That ain't Kendra. Sabrina in the hills. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Hong Kong. <laughs> I don't want to press the wrong button. Next thing you know, we in the intro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, that's what's up. Y'all get me tonight. And, uh, you know, I want to see if I can come on with Weekly, they shoot. I don't know if I can do weekly, but it's monthly to do Sabrina shows. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, if Kendra would like it, like where she at? I wish we could talk to her. Maybe we can cook it up in the kitchen together, or we can switch her off on the weekends. That's fine with me too, because I know sometimes us women we just like the feeling of the kitchen, and we don't want too many people in there. That's fine too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I would like it's like a, you know that UFC I would like to talk to Kendrick but it ain't no fighting but I would like to see you you know what I'm saying we we can talk we can sit down because it's been a while Kendra it's been since like uh, summertime or something yeah you guys would be fun in the kitchen together so we have a good time sure. you know uh, it's it's a good time it's a good experience uh, but let's not get back to them experiences let's get back to now on March 11th on Friday at 10 39 i'm so thankful for our viewers currently i'm thankful for those of you who just currently shared and are sharing with other people i thank you for being here right now i'm pretty sure that mr cameron right behind me is getting pretty hungry because i done been done with them foods for like about 20 minutes now but i had to come and put these headphones on and i had to talk to y'all because if y'all knew what i was hearing i hope you can hear what i'm hearing it sounds pretty cool, <laughs> you know, not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm doing all tonight. How about y'all? Y'all doing all right? I'm doing all right. I just, I'm just, I'm just grateful. Like every time I hear some type of sirens or something, y'all, I just want to take a moment to pray and I just want to be, you know, thankful for what we have today and for where you're at and pray for those of us who are not doing so well because who knows they could be having a party like Mr. Cameron said and they can just be lighting off them sirens because you know them firefighters and them police officers are just as human as us and they want to ride down that street going ah! <laughs> I ain't even going to do that to y'all right now but you know what I'm saying what if they ain't out there just lighting up them sirens and doing what they do and we need to take a moment to pray because again we heard what was going on at Lions Field today right I took a, a moment for silence because that's too close for home. That is way too close. Too close for home. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know who it was, but that is in our town. And that's how strong G2 rides with the community, that we can feel that. Nah, but that's pain. You know, somebody in our community right now is mourning, right? You know, somebody in our community ain't feeling right. I heard that it was somebody's neighbor. It could be somebody's mother, daughter, or sister. I didn't get that too deep in details. But you, if you guys are on the Bremerton uh, Crime Watch, if y'all were watching Channel 7, I mean, if y'all were on Kids Up Sun, it was out there. And it ain't even a funny moment. It's just how I say things. I'm a funny girl. But if y'all knew, my heart is crying right now because these days are getting, it's getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean to repeat myself, but let's love one another. Let's love each other. Because what else are we going to do? Be out there being angry for no reason? Who wants to be angry for no reason? Not me. Not me. Let that stuff go. When I see people and they're angry or they are they uh, complaining over something, I look like, damn. But they don't even have to feel that way right now. And I know we humans, so I feel that way too sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, take a couple of minutes, Sabrina. Take a couple of minutes, Sabrina. Whatever I'm feeling like calling myself at that moment. <laughs> Take a couple seconds, girl, because it's 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 pretty crazy. You know what I'm saying? We should be thankful. I don't want to speak it out into existence, but it is something that is happening into our world. We should be thankful that we aren't in Ukraine right now. I do want to thank those who know people in our community who are out there uh, risking their lives to be out there and help those in Ukraine because I was reading that somebody from Seattle was out there. Um, I don't know if we have any... Anybody in our close community out there? But, you know, praying for those people who are risking their lives today. You know what I'm saying? There's people, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if we were, like, at war today, which can happen at any moment, so I don't mean to keep saying it, but those men and women who are going out there, man, I saw a beautiful uh, model who decided to put herself on the line. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? People are out there just like, I am going to sacrifice my life for my country would i do that you don't know what you would do at a time like that i just i have five kids so i really don't know i would want to fight for sure but i feel like i don't know i don't know if that sounds scary or not but i for sure would want to get in some type of bunker in some type of place and make sure my kids were safe i know that's for sure uh-huh Catfish, yes, and cornbread. What's up, Tony? I'm glad to have you back in here. Hope you are doing well this evening. If you didn't hear before, G2 appreciates you. Yes, sir. Again, okay, I mean, am I supposed to serve the plates? Because I'm just in here talking. I can serve. You want me to serve? So I got to step away from the mic for a second because I got a job to do. But I hope you guys are doing okay again. It is 1044, <laughs> and I'm going to walk away now, y'all. All right. You got your mic on? I just needed a moment. That's good. Ooh. Take your time. You got your mic on? Sure. I know you were saying something like uh, 20 minutes ago about eating. You remember that? You forgot, huh? What? You was on with You remember that? Eating. Yeah. Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, he's like, oh, I know he's hungry. And they're eating at 10. You don't remember that? Maybe. Do you want a lot or a little? Because I want a little. Uh, Give me a little. Because your little still ends up being a lot. No, no, no. It's going to be a little. Sabrina be coming out with a little. The testing plates are crazy. We've already had like three bowls of food. No, no it's all good. But it's time. It's time to eat. Oh, let me get these headphones ready. Sabrina likes to conversate over dinner. Which is cool. One. Looks like it's being set up. Get it like that. 
Is it still hot? Uh, you know. Sorry, you said a little, so I really did give you a little. <laughs> that should be tripping, like a little. Like, that is not a little. She's so funny. You didn't even see. Oh, I took a peek over there. That's just the catfish is the biggest piece. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. We, we sat there. Is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it is. And I tossed it in for like a minute. 60 seconds while you make yours. It'll be all to the G double O D. Watch out for that man by that back door. He ain't He's friendly. He's my friend now. Huh? He's my friend now. He's your friend? Mm-hmm. You know what? You're the type of person to make friends with, with strangers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. I do. I love people. I just wish we weren't such an angry society nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't even want friends. But you know what, though? And it's like, I don't want friends. I just want to socialize. I just want to feel and and, and, and shut up. Sorry. Here's the thing. It takes people like you to change the world. <laughs> they do. I'm saying it you takes know. people like you to change the world. Yeah. Just keep on being you. Slowly start changing people over. You know? That's how it works. That's for real. Not for fake. You know what I mean? I cannot believe I cracked my tooth. I chipped it. Oh, Tony, I got to go back to your dentist. I chipped my tooth tonight. Doing something crazy. And Sabrina told me last time not to do it. I did. And I did it anyway. And she cringed. Sure enough, cracked my tooth. Oh, you brought me the headphones, man. Huh? I told you I had it all set up, ready to go. You know what I mean? Oh, I just forgot the lemon. Oh, well. Oh, no, I got it. You know anything else? No. You want anything else? No. <laughs> Golly. All right, your aggressive ass. No. I said no. Go ahead to the comment section so we can see what our listeners. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get in there. Or our viewers. You know what? Uh, soon, within the next couple of months, I'm trying to get the conduit to uh, get into just yeah, being, still live. Being in your ears, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to know if we were still live. Four is hours, it live or is it Memorex? Four hours later, we definitely are. Has it been four hours? Yeah. How do you know? Can you scoot this back? I don't. Over? I don't know. Scoot this back, Trina. No, no, no. How? Scoot it back. Come in a little bit. I'm trying. So you're in camera. No, come this way a little bit. So you're in camera. What kind of camera are you looking at? I'm about to switch it. I'll try. Even if I'm not, it's okay. There we go. I knew I'd be on camera. You knew you'd be on camera? There, try these. You should be better with your earrings. Whoa. What? You got the chills? <clears throat> Whoa, what's going on on that side? All right, there we go. Can you hear it? All right, so now I can still keep an eye on the chat. You know what I mean? Oh. Tony says slapping. That's your word, huh? Slapping. Wow, I can hear so much better with these ones. Yeah? All right, you want to bless us? Lord, I want to thank you for this evening. I want to thank you for bringing us together, Lord. I want to thank you for our viewers who are able to be here today and experience some of the things that we're able to experience, Lord God. Please let us be able to nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Put a little lemon on there. little lemon. Let me get some. Limon. Yep, yep, yep. Toast to a good night. I'm about to break this glass. <laughs> Girl, don't break that glass. Clank. <laughs> Y'all gonna really watch me and be like, dang. Mm. You changed me up in here. I'm 
on that soft tone girl too. Hey, my phone. She getting aggressive. <clears throat> I'm gonna get aggressive. Well, I'm gonna just place that over there for a second so I can eat this. Mm -hmm. mm. No, the only thing we didn't try was the green. How do you want it? Okay. How do you feel? Let me get some of that. No, 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 no. Oh, I forgot my cornbread, but that's okay. All right, let's try the greens. You ready? Anybody that's into ASMR, stay. If you are not, please uh, move forward. You can skip, you know what I'm saying, or do what you have to do. So I appreciate you being here this long already. All right. Are you ready? I know he doesn't like this. <laughs> Mike, you look like. Can I take my headphones off? <laughs> Dang. You look like cringe. <laughs> and then he spin it out like right at the beginning, like not not that. He looked like I know she ain't doing this on my channel. No, it's all good to you, girl. Anyways, you cook this food. Some people really love this. And it's so crazy, but this has become a trend. You can roll around in it if you want. Shh, you gotta whisper. Because the most important. Yes, it does taste as good as it sounds. <laughs> no. Hold on. Oh, you hear that fish crunch? I can't even use my fork. It's so crunchy. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thanking you for, but shh. <laughs> I'm just cracking up because this is a serious trend, but you look so, so uncomfortable. You look like I really cannot so, believe so this girl is doing this right now. Like, this girl got to be tripping. Like, the face. Like, you look uncomfortable. This sounds so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you go. Dang it. All right, y'all. I'm sorry for those of you that don't like it. If you do, comment and we'll have more. But <laughs> if not, hey, you know, I'll leave that for Let, me, let me type this in the chat. It's, it's AMSR. What is it? A what? ASMR or something? I don't know. AMSR? ASMR. I don't know. It'd be trending, though. Y'all want to Google YouTube, go through Instagram. Y'all going to see it everywhere. At least, I'm, I mean, nothing with them octopus and stuff. But some of these YouTubers be this octopus and all these type of seafoods with the legs still moving. I'd be like, oh, no. Hey, I'm not going to lie. The greens are spicy, but they're really good. Mm. I mean, they're not too spicy that I can't eat them, but they're good. I'm a Did you put some ham haka on here? Mm. Did you put some ham haka on here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the ham haka. My bad. I hope so. I mean, there was enough to go around. I just put a little bit. I gave mm. it literally a teeny tiny spoonful. Yeah, it's spicy, but it's good. Those are some good greens. Mm -hmm. Well, they do get some kick, no, you must have just kicked the kick because ain't no kick up in mine. Remember, I'm a two. Mm. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of ham there. Full of flavor. That's, that's it. Mm. I'm trying to eat and enjoy it, and it is delicious. But I'm telling you, do you know when you've been in the kitchen for hours and you've been trying foods and this and that? And it's just like after you eat, you just want to like. <sighs> But I'm in here, y'all. I'm in here. And I accidentally gave myself a lot of mac and cheese. I, I be serving with my eyes for some reason. We still here, folks.
There we go. Man. Oh, that's a wide shot right there. Oh, we don't want that shot. Let's go back over here. Yeah, now if I see my eyes rolling, it says I'm getting sleepy. How many times do I gotta say that? I'm gonna be like, A lot. You're gonna say a lot. It's all good. Probably because it's starting to kick in. You getting the itis? Yeah, and I'm like that. Yeah. Mm. You're right. Did you try some hot sauce on the catfish? No, because I know that's gonna put me to sleep. I know it. Oh, I did take a bite. I did really take a bite. I took a bite. Mm. I'm gonna have to fly home, y'all. <laughs> Et fly home. What's your favorite? I am liking the mac and cheese. And I did like them greens. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving myself a chance to try everything. Just because I'm so, you know, I didn't uh, keep my stomach so it's like all that tea. Mm -hmm. All that tea done filled up my stomach. Good job. Mm -hmm. Man, I want to use the tartar sauce, but man, I'm like, I don't know. Yo, this would be good with some, you know that. <laughs> Am I supposed to whisper for you? Are you chewing? Are we supposed to whisper all the time? Only when ASMR is going on. What is it going on? So much to Google that. What does that even stand for? I don't know. I am, I am interested. Echo. Echo. Volume 5. Echo, what is ASMR? Autonomous sensory meridian response, or ASMR, is a sensory experience characterized by a pleasant tingling sensation moving across the scalp and spine. Stimuli such as sound or touch may trigger it. So people get sexy feelings by those sounds. Well, you know, they like they people really freaking love hearing that. It's like when people probably send beat pictures or there's a new thing excuse me we're eating but people i don't know you know there's all types of things people i don't even want to talk about it because it's kind of nasty what in the roll of feet farts i heard somebody be selling those i don't yeah, know how. Some, some lady was yeah i don't know if it's just a video I mean, no no or I they put she it made, in a jar she made, yeah she puts it in a jar and then she was eating all this nasty food to make them smell as bad as they could. Oh, good golly. I but she ended up that. giving herself some Hey, how was the cornbread? Issue. You tried it? Oh, yeah. I already ate my half of a half. I made mine, um, you know. It was good with the oh, almond. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I put in the, the dar sauce. The almond extract is good on here. Oh, you double foiled it? Or double... Um, no, it wasn't on purpose, homie. Oh, well, I thought it was something new. You know? No, I probably just couldn't get it apart. Work it. Mm. That's good, right? You like that? Mm -hmm. That came out good. Mm. You only made 12? Yeah. Unfortunately. You know, you like Layla's best friend. I love Layla. She is a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart with some sass and some style. She she need a whooping. She's okay. It's good that she's just doing good in school, you know. Mm. Keep that up. Stay away from boys. Mm -hmm. Holy moly! I'm gonna send it to a convent. Hmm? She go homeschool. She would hate me. She, you she her. loves the kids. She got to be around them. You know, I, it's like a really bittersweet feeling how I feel about homeschool. All, all my kids go out the house, but it's one of the safest things right now. And it's one of the ways that you know that your child will really get the education that you want them to get, you know? Yeah. Because with all the things going on in our world and all the people who aren't living how, you know, up to okay standards for our children those kids are coming to school and they're not even understanding how to have the ability to learn 
or sit still, you know, or some kids. You know how we did that powerful event at the Bainbridge Journal Museum? Those four ladies were talking, uh -huh. and one of them was talking about homeschooling. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a pretty powerful panel, right? Like, you really enjoyed it? Yeah, I like I love part. when powerful women talk. Like, when it's just like, even if, if, if they're not, like, just the word, mm -hmm. you know? Is it, it's inspiring? Yeah. Just to be able to have that knowledge and speak and have a voice like that. And <laughs> speak those those feelings. And um, what was her name? Tiffany. She was speaking about Catalyst. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I have a niece that goes to Catalyst, and I had no idea it was a school like that. It almost made me feel like, shoot, I want to take my, you know, like, why why didn't they, they, the boy's auntie tell me how good Catalyst was? What you holding out on? You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's a lottery, if I'm not mistaken. No. It's maybe now. School. Maybe now. Mm -hmm. But I also had a neighbor that went, and they, he was like, yeah, they go to private school because they're all dressed up. But mm -hmm. she said it's like, excuse me, a private public school. But, you know, that's good, too, because I grew up poor. So, like, our tennis shoes came from Safeway. You know what I'm saying? So we would get teased. But if you're in uniform. <laughs> from where? From Safeway. <laughs> see, see? See? See what I grew up with? You go to Safeway, you go in, there's a bananas. In your tennis shoes, and they were like ten bucks. You know how hard it was to go to school when everybody goes to the grocery store and they know that you got your Safeway sliders or your Thriftway Thunderbolts. That's what they used to call them. I just want to know if anybody ever seen tennis shoes at Safeway before. Like, let me know so I can shut up. That's all I'm laughing at. Like, <laughs> see my trauma, the emotional damage. Are these shoes made out of lettuce? Are these shoes made out of lettuce or something? No, but they will have them by the bananas in a big old bin. With them, the banana shoes. And you have to dig for your size. You Seven, got them six. potato looking, apple peeling, <laughs> banana <laughs> onion looking tennis shoes. No, I'm just kidding. Stop the cat. They don't think they're a unisex. No, I'm just joking. There's nothing funny about where you get your shoes. You know what I'm saying? I got five kids, so. I gotta like get out of those type of stereotypes and get them what they can. At least if they look decent and my kids look clean, then you know it's gonna have to work. Because I was so stuck on the top styles, you know, and mm -hmm. and what they really want and what they can't have. But it's like, as long as they look clean and they're healthy, then they're gonna be all right. Hopefully that I I raise them to be strong enough to be able to uh, afford their own shoes and clothes when they get older. There ain't nothing funny about getting Safeway shoes. It's just I ain't never seen those shoes at Safeway. They don't sell them it's no a more. grocery store. That's how it used to be. Oh, That's right. why my feet are all messed up. Now, flat footed. <laughs> no, it ain't. No, it ain't. I know your daddy took care of you real well. No. Good. Safeway. <laughs> we ain't playing. We have a bunch of groceries and a but bag calm of shoes. Down. What? Nothing's wrong with that. Yeah, it does when you get a hole in the bottom in a month because you done ran through them. Relax. Have you seen my feet? They're all flat. Do you know the things that I've been wearing? They hurt. My shoes get hold too. I have, let me say I got five kids one more time that I can't afford a lot, even to this day. Maybe I, I had a backwards life where I didn't get this shoes from Safeway, but I get them from Safeway now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't sell them at Safeway no more. You feel like got pay left. Me, but you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know, I get my shoes from wherever I can now. But that's why I think the and, uniform school is good because the kids don't get teased. I was working in the summertime or not. Yeah, it wasn't in the wintertime. Tony was like, girl, you need me to get you some boots or something. He's like, what's your size? I would not give him my size. No. But I had these shoes that were like talking. And then my shoe, we were like working in the rain, I think, putting the meals in the van. And my feet were soaking wet. It's like crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm okay. I'm still alive. And it was fine. It wasn't that serious. I know. It's I just the smell. Huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should take a shoe donation. That'd be nice. And then we can have kids come out and get some shoes for those of the kids that can't afford shoes, you know? Well, it is important that kids have quality shoes when they're growing up because their feet are growing. Yeah. And it did make my feet flat. And give me yeah, we struggle. My, my, son, uh, my son had a football, right? Mm -hmm. And we, we put him on some cleats. And I don't know what happened. But one day... I don't know. I think he kept coming home talking about his feet hurt, right? You know, my kids are hilarious, just like me. <laughs> but he was like, my feet hurt, right? 
and his nails all bloody every day, and mm. they're all like jammed up. Wow. And he wouldn't really small? tell us what was going on. Yeah. Dang. And I'm like, boy, why couldn't you just tell us that you needed some new cleats? He was like sacrificing his <laughs> toes out there, like <laughs> not saying anything. I think he felt bad though, because you know, we can't always afford things and, and able to get him stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yo, it comes to them video games. He's like, hey, I need this new I don't care about them toes, You know huh? what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that was sad. I was like, come on, son, you gotta be able to let me know. You know? Mm. Do you know who Deion Sanders is? Who is that? Football player. What happened? Hall of Famer. He just had two of his toes amputated. What happened? He had turf toe really bad when he was in the NFL. And he had a blood clot. And if they didn't cut him off, it could have killed him. That's not good. But I mean, your feet are super important. You know? Good thing you told me that. And I'm going to let it know to my, uh, my sons. I mean, that's how my dad died. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, I just thought of something real funny. <laughs> when I was a child. Yeah, clean it up. <laughs> because it's so messed up that I can't even run away from the camera. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, what the fuck <laughs> That's messed up, man. I'm trying to have a serious moment. You were being all serious earlier, talking about we all need to come together. That's what I'm trying to figure out. They're like, damn, was she honest or not? Because this girl looks heartless. That's cold. No, but so, you know, he had Y'all know I care. I do care. I just, I get nervous. I think I I laugh when I get nervous. So you're talking about somebody's talking (laughs) every day. Well, that's what happens. So, you know, my dad has diabetes, like Rob does, right? You know, takes a shot, whatever. You try to laugh, please just keep going because it's not funny. It's all good. My dad is dealing with some stuff like this too. But he was, you know, my dad was a principal, right? So he's teaching or he was in the classroom. And the kids, you know, how like this chair, office chair, is on wheels. So the kid was rolling and he hit my dad's foot. It would cut his foot. It would cut anyone's foot. But with diabetes, your wounds. (laughs) Yeah, it'll be okay. You just. I missed my lip. It's like you didn't even try. You know, he um, his wound didn't heal, and it kept getting worse and worse and worse, and it, and it wouldn't close up. And they were trying to treat it, and it started turning black and green. And then they're like, "We we'll have to take the toe." So they took the toe, and you know, after that, he's in a lot of pain. It was bad. <laughs> Then they had to take another toe. This time I was thinking about one of these shows, if anybody's my age, at least. There's like a, a couple of shows. Like, well, I guess forget my dad's <laughs> situation. <laughs> I can't do this. What did the comment say? What? No, it is. Someone did. I can see it. It said, seriously. Oh, God. Go ahead. Tell your story. My, my dad. There was like a show that talked about amputated toes. And it was like, what is it? Like the Amanda show or iCarly or something else. Like toes was flying around. Okay, I look so heartless. It's not even funny. I look like an evil spirited girl right now. It's like on camera. It's okay, you're left handed. What do you say? God, I just can't help it. Don't worry about it, girl. I'm gonna. I'm probably not gonna be able to sleep all night. Really? You're gonna be in a coma and be like, hey, did you sleep last night, Sabrina? Oh, yeah, I don't even remember what happened. I was in a coma. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this half home. But it, you know, it wouldn't heal. They cut it off, and then they put this wound back on, right, yeah. which is super painful. So oh, then the wound back, right, so here's the, here's his toes, right? <laughs> are we, we going to be able to get through this story? <laughs> it has, like, nothing to do with what you're saying. I just can't help it. <laughs> Oh, you just have a, a spontaneous reaction to laughter. Like, I don't even hear what you're saying. It's just like toe, <laughs> toe, toe. Like if you were in my head, which is not always the best place to be, even for myself. But I literally just hear toe and toe, 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 <laughs> toe and blah 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 toe. And I'm like, gosh. So it sounds like toe is the word of the night. Because I sure did put my toes up in this meal. Mm-hmm. 
We did. You do ASMR for your nose, please. Wow. Clearly. Just kidding. Well, I guess I'm not kidding. If I'm <laughs> no, <about>. exactly. <laughs> so they put this thing called the wound back on, right? <laughs> I didn't even say toe yet. You just say, <laughs> are you ready? We're going to start again. You just, you just. I want to finish the story. Get in. So they talk. So just shut up. Just keep talking. Just pretend I'm not even laughing. So they put this wound back on. So these are the good toes. These are the toes that are gone. And then the boom back goes on here. It goes. <laughs> you get the blood. Anyway. You gotta get the circulation down there, right? And it's super painful, but it still wouldn't heal. And then they ended up having to amputate more. And then that was it, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? The end. On the table? What? The end on the table? Oh, yeah, he died. On the table? No, in the hospital. So if you get a wound, Please go to the doctor, especially if it's not healing fast. Because the older we get, the harder it is to heal. We heal slower. Any type of open, yes, yeah. anything on your feet. Like, I, I can't even stress that enough, too. It's extremely important, especially diabetics. Because any, I, like, I feel like it affects anybody. Because any type, like, you know what I'm saying? You have an open wound and that infection goes in there right away or some. You know, our feet aren't always, we got some clean feet, but. It's very easy to get contaminants and bacteria. My dad even got MRSA. Into her? <laughs> oh, God, you hate me. <laughs> you well, hate me. He did. Okay. You know what I'm saying? On your feet? No, I think it was on his, was it on his elbow. I think it was on his elbow. Okay, well, I was just trying to let the people know. And, you know. Well, you know, diabetics, they don't feel the, the wounds. Like, sometimes Rob will hurt himself, and he doesn't know he hurt himself, but he's bleeding. You know, because the circulation, the blood circulation is so bad. That's why they got to check their toes and stuff every when they, they take a shower. Oh, so they may not even know they're hurt. You know I'm sorry. I got to check myself. <laughs> it's not funny. But like when I was pregnant with the twins, they, you know, I was going, I was having to poke myself too for gestational diabetes. You had gestational diabetes? When I was pregnant. Mm hmm. What do you have to do different? So I'm going to take the kids and to get them checked out. Can you explain what that I'm is? I'm just supposed to eat. No, I don't know. Mm. I'm not that knowledgeable on that stuff. I had to just poke myself and, you know, I don't know. And they told oh, me to check their blood sugars? I wasn't, I'm not too sure. Nothing? Mm -hmm. That's fine. So would you check yourself like every day? Yeah, 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 I think I was supposed to check every morning and stuff. And I didn't really know how or what I was doing. Poke your finger? Yeah. Mm, they gave me a little gadget. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob does it every day. Good golly, my eyes. Oh, I'll tell you something, Bob. So, but you did tell me last time, and I didn't say it. Man, the hands are good. Yams in that. God, if someone knows this song, help me out. Yams in that. It might be need a little bit more than yams in that. You said you were gonna give them some karaoke. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Rolling down the street in my six foot. <laughs> I mean that. Go ahead, you know the lyrics? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a singer, so don't be a hater, okay? Mm -hmm. You are beautiful in every single word. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. And words can't, they can, but don't let it bring you down. Oh, oh, I'm just being so inspirational tonight, ain't I? Yep. I All can't right. even say anything. Sing it, girl. Sing. I'm done. That's a good song. Oh, what about that song off of Mulan? Something about the reflection. 
I see my reflection now. <laughs> it doesn't even go anything like that. I think Christina Aguilera sings it too. You know, I used to like her. Oh. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Y'all take a moment after you eat, before you eat in the middle of eating. Take a moment. Let's take a moment and have some meditation. <clears throat> That's great. We're going to close our eyes and you're going to count to five in your head. And you can either take a deep breath or you can go, um. All right. All right. They're ready. No, Tony says sing it. See, they want the karaoke. Ain't nobody singing today. <clears throat> R-E-S-P-C-T. Find out what that means to me. <laughs> Give a little respect. You know, we all want some respect sometimes. But it's like, what did we do to earn that respect? You know what I'm saying? What did we do to earn that respect? I put the toilet seat down. Nah, nah. That ain't even good enough. So now you joking with me because I was joking with you. But this is a serious conversation because a lot of us want respect just because we want respect. Would you prefer I don't put the seat down? No, 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 then no. You do what you toilet? do. That's manners. That's called manners. I That's have respect. respect. That's manners. Well, what's the difference between manners and respect? Manners is something that's like polite and you're supposed to do and it makes you look good. Respect is something that's earned mm. and it's deserved. Manners is like common sense. You so know what I'm saying? Is you, respect you, like giving me half of my corporate? No. What was that? That's not manners. That was like being giving and caring. That, that, that part came from your heart. Respect is like people love you for being you uh, because, and they understand you. So they respect you. The opposite of respect is disrespect. And that's when people blatantly look past you. They don't mind you. They may talk about you negatively. Um, and and they don't, they just treat you kind of shitty, you know what I'm saying? But when you respect somebody, you make them feel like they're somebody, you know what I'm saying? You walk in a room, they're there, you see them, you say hi. Disrespect is like the total opposite. I mean, we all understand though. Some of us have bad days and you're just like not in the mood, but we should do that because we all want to be seen. I mean, there's a lot of you that say you want, don't want to be seen, but that's cap. You know what I'm saying? Stop the cap. It feels good for people to notice us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we don't want to be noticed because it's like all we're used to is like negative uh, things negative notices, notices um, criticism, or fake. Some people can give you fake. Like when they notice you, it's like, oh, it's so exaggerated. And it's so not like you could just feel, you know, I don't know if anybody else has the powers that I do, but I could feel things, you know what I'm saying? So you can just feel when something isn't genuine, unless I'm crazy. Too. I like that. I like your definition of respect. Yeah. I like your definition of disrespect too. Yeah, it just it doesn't feel good. So I'm just trying to work up to get my respect from those that have lost it. And I know many of the people say that uh oh we respect you, we respect you, but it's just it's like a feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's a feeling. You shouldn't even have to think about it. And I mean, if you are thinking about it and questioning it, it's almost the same thing out of out of love when you're looking from love from somebody because at the end of the day, are you respecting yourself? Are you loving yourself? You shouldn't always be looking that at that from somebody else if you're already doing that. And if you do that to yourself, people will just automatically kind of do that too. It's the whole thing with the whole world is all about confidence. And if you have confidence in yourself, people will believe in you too and have that same confidence you have. It's like you could literally be anything you want. Like, I mean, you grew up from this little boy 
and I don't know if it was a small town or a big town. And look, confidence, you, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're doing, you're doing good things. You don't have to do any of this. Ain't nobody said that. You know what I'm saying? But you have confidence in something, uh, or you believe in us at G2 as well, because we have confidence in the things we're doing on a daily basis. I, I, I really do love how Stephanie holds it down too. You know what I'm saying? And she, she brings all that, she brings all that together. You know, I say G2, but I, I be meaning her a lot of the time when I say that. Because I do give all of us credit, but I know she holds it down a lot. You well, know? you can't give her the horn, but it's over there. Ha! <laughs> Get it. That was for wow. Somebody. All right, y'all. Does anybody else have anything to say? You have anything to say, Mr. Ken? Mm. I'm just listening to you talk. I talk all the time, so it's nice to listen to other people speak and you know, share their thoughts and teach others. What does that say? Sign it. Oh, it, you said it already. Um, you know, it's been a good evening. Good food. Good vibes. Um, and I guess something has just compelled me to speak so great upon our viewers. I've actually also always wanted to be some type of a... It sounds like you're finding your voice more and more, you know? Finding? Mm -hmm. I said fighting. I've always known in myself that I would want to be an advocate in something because I've grown up with so many like hardships, but I've gotten through them that I always knew that I would like to help other people who go through things because it's not the end of the world, but sometimes it can feel really freaking painful, you know? But it's like, it actually does not have to feel painful at all. Like, of course, we have to get through it. You know? Does it feel lonely? You know that song when you're a kid and it's like, you don't go over it. You don't go under it. You have to go through it. I just realized that that's a true life story. Like, you literally have to go through everything in life. There's no going over, over under, around. You've got to go. And it's like, they talk about some sticky mud, too, in that song in preschool. And they're like, oh, we're in the sinking sand. And it's like, you can't go over it. You can't go under it. You got to go through it. And they're like, ah, ah. What prison preschool were you in? <laughs> I never heard this. Are you sure? No. Yes. Nobody ever heard this song? No, that sounds traumatizing. And there's mud. Can't go over it. You can't go under it. It was like, we're going on. Is it a bear hunt? Is it a bear hunt? No, I never heard this. Hunt. I'm going on a bear hunt. I'm not scared, honey. Oh, there's some long grass or something. You can't go over it. You can't go over it. You got to go through it. Because the grass is so long. Or whatever the teacher said it was, you know. Mm -hmm. And there was mud. And there was this. And you're going on a bear hunt. You're looking for that bear. You're going through the forest and you're going through the woods. And next thing you know, you jump in your bed and you get under the covers. Woof! And that bed is right there behind you. And you're like, ah! Oh, no. But that's right before getting into your bed. But yeah, that's a true story. I'm sorry. That was traumatizing. But clearly, that was great for me. Yeah, that sounds like prison preschool. I'm just saying. I remember the other day, I won't give too many details, but you played that scientific uh, mm -hmm. game with me. And it was like the placebo test. Mm-hmm. I was like telling somebody today that I don't know if he meant to say this or not, but um, I took away from it that you said I have a strong mind, you know, and it's like crazy how my mind works and it takes little words from people like good or bad because it can be bad things that sometimes will sit on me too for a little while. Right. But this one was like, dang, now like when I think of something negative or something, it's like, wow, girl, you got a strong mind that you can do anything. You know what I'm saying? You do have a strong like, You could do this. You could feel this. You could be that, you know? I'm very capable. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Unless Mr. Cameron has anything else to say, I think we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to wrap I'm almost it. done. I mean, faster than you. I'm going to wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? Take this home. And uh, we're going to blow out the candles. And we are going to. You know what? That's a good ritual. Turn this off for the night. You know what I'm saying? I like that. It's over. Blow out the candles. Yeah. That's a good ritual. Go ahead. Hold on, let me finish my last two bites. But I'm not too much of a candle blower. I would really prefer to put those lids on. Grab the lids. You know what I'm saying? Because then the house gets all like... Smoky. Got the smoke alarm going and everything. 
I know what candles you need to put down. Mm. Oh. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Before I drop it. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Well, I'm sure Mr. Cameron does too. As right. do I. I think I your mic just went off. Not mine. Oh, it's on. I hear me. It's Is my mic on. Yeah. I oh, appreciate yeah. this Friday night. I appreciate the listeners, the viewers. Uh, even if you um, rewatch it, that's always nice too. So if you're rewatching it, don't forget to share. If you're at the end of this and you just hopped on, don't forget to share it. It's always okay to share because people can rewatch. That's fine. Especially if you want to see how she made this wonderful dinner of uh, fried catfish, yeah, candied yams. This was actually a good show. And usually at the end of the show, keep it keep going. It had everything. This is like Thanksgiving in March, for uh, sure. Usually at the end of the show. It's, it is. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just a good cooked meal. But I it is. It. Um, I think at the end of most shows, I'm usually embarrassed and I'm running out of here like a crazy lady. Mm -hmm. And many of you could say it was boring. Who knows? I might talk to some of you and you guys are like, dang, you were kind of boring today. But I'm going to say that this was a good show. Good. I feel like a lot. Like, it was a good show. <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave without laughing. <laughs> know what I'm saying? I was a little too calm because that made me put some levity to the eye. Wow. <laughs> Hold up, Johnny. Hey, Let's... no, you ain't gonna put no lemon in my eyes. <laughs> you really got the lemon too. I mean, there's gotta be another way to laugh besides putting lemon in your eye. <laughs> it was a good one. You looked scared again, but uh, uh, yeah, because it actually happened earlier. So you know, Stop the cap. Oh man. Well, anyways, I'm just—I just had to laugh real quick just in case I was being boring. <laughs> Disastrous. But you know, I had an extreme day. So. Emotional day. Emotional day. We gonna be calm because it's necessary. Is it? Clearly Unless it's you want not. some lemon in your eyes. You just turned up. For a quick second. No, I'm it's sure, all good. I'm sure they enjoyed it. Oh. I'm sure it was necessary. I'm sure they were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they got lemon I'm in their sure. eye, you can turn in the podcast into a jackass. <laughs> well, you just hey, stab me with a there's fork. a new one if you're interested in things like that. No, I can't watch that. That looks too Sick, crazy. right? Yeah. I actually, it's it's kind of funny, but like most of the time I find myself saying, ew. You no, know, we, we might have to do those reviews like we were talking about. That'd be cool if we do power review. Have you have you started watching power? Oh yeah, I'm all cut up. You're all cut up? Tam Tommy is my dude. I think I've seen I know I watched this. Tommy Finn is my dude. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen the second one. So this isn't funny if anybody has this name, but I'm listening to I listen to the like morning shows on like 92, like 106.1 or 92.5 or whatever the shows are. And it's like the second day update, right? And the girl's name was Elizabeth. -er. And they were like, so is it, can we just call you Liz? Like, so your name is Elizabeth. -er. And she's like, yeah. And they're like, can we call you Liz? And she was like, no, my name is Elizabeth. -er. And so every time they kept saying Elizabeth, -er, it was just hilarious. And they were cracking up. And it was just funny. What is Elizabeth? -er? I never heard that. That's somebody's name. Wow. What was the history behind it? They had to ask her, like, how did you get your name? No, but that wasn't what the show was about. It was a second day update, so you're pretty much supposed to leave. But then they were like, what is your friend's name? Because she was like, oh, it's Ben. We're trying to call Ben. Was it Benether? <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth. -er. Anyways, I kept it going when I said goodnight. Oh, I mean, I used to tell you about that. But when I first started watching the shows, he'd be like, all right, y'all, you know, we're going to come back tomorrow and blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching. And next thing you know, he's on for five more hours. Not five hours. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> and I was like, dang, like five I'm to trying ten to minutes watch. And he most. said goodbye. Like, and I thought, I was like, oh, good. I caught the whole show. He's out of your And then he would be talking about something else. And I was like, come on, man. I'm trying to stay. 
Yeah. And you know, it's all good informational stuff, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a busy person. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a... Hey, you know, but the, you know, sometimes that last minute stuff is like good stuff, you know. Oh my God! If they, some of them people would have just missed that lemon in the eye, y'all would have missed that. That was that was great. That candle looks good on the camera. I can't wait to smell the next week. Fred Meyer. I wonder if I can wait till next week to light it again. Oh, you're talking about that flavor, citrus. Yeah. Oh, oh, grapefruit, apricot, and jasmine. Oh God. Is that what the yellow one is? Grapefruit, no, 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 no. Uh, apricot is next. Oh, I guess okay. this is supposed to be grapefruit. Wait, wait, grapefruit. Look, that thing smells like grapefruit, doesn't it? It smells like, yeah, it's citrusy. Yeah, it does. It's citrusy. I don't know about grapefruit. I don't know, no, it does. What did you say next one was? Apricot. Mm, I'm kidding. That'd be interesting. I do like jazz. Though. Okay, close it out for us, please. All right, y'all. Man, this has been a, a wonderful dinner. Thank you for all for joining us. How many hours have we been live for? Uh, four hours and 30 minutes. Ah! <laughs> Finally kind of got you. Did you get me? No. We'll watch it later. I thought you were going to poke me in the eye. I thought there was a spider. Did you? A yelling spider? <laughs> you didn't say spider. <laughs> <laughs> She's been trying to scare me because I scare her all the time. No, it's bull crap. I started the damn thing, and then all of a sudden he wants to try to take over and actually win and get points. It's like this is not the way it's supposed to be. Well, I almost to died in the car the other day. <laughs> almost literally, like I'm, I'm traumatized. I could tell I'm traumatized. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, she about jumped out the roof. I don't even have a sunroof. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Close it out now. <laughs> I'll try this again. So, yeah, we appreciate you. Had a really good time. Of course, we'll be back here next Friday. Who? Um, you know what? And you should type in the chat if there's something that you want us to cook. And if it's within our power to do it, then we will. You know what I'm saying? I love to see gumbo or paella. Those might be a little too tough right now. But, like, uh, I know Sabrina makes a wicked steak. Because I've had that several times. She makes some bomb. I don't mean to. I ain't even in the mood of cooking right now. I don't even want to think about cooking. Because you said how long we've been on here? Four hours? Yeah. Four hours. But this was a big meal, right? I mean, think about that. So just before we get off, just to let you know, right? She didn't go shopping until, what, three? She got all this stuff in less than an hour, got back to the house. We took our time, we ate, and then she started cooking at six. You think it was six? <laughs> you with Huh? You with us? <laughs> I get stuck looking back looking at that girl. <laughs> um Nah, that's a true story. I think I tried starting earlier, like six or five forty five or something. I think you said five forty five. Like, okay. What time is it? You were like five forty five. And then we started eating at, what, 1045? And the only reason why we didn't eat earlier is because she had to make so much fish for everyone at G2. So oh, otherwise, we would have been done. she would have been done bit. probably, what, an hour before? At least. You know? I mean, you made an extra pan of mac and cheese. So to buy everything in an hour, come back, sit, chill, have some lunch, lunch in her. I don't even know what you call that. You know, breakfast and lunch is brunch. This was like Linner. lunch and dinner. Linner. Brenner. 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 Yeah, Le Brenner. We, we didn't have breakfast. Le Brenner. Le Brenner. And then That's what we don't call it. Start Brenner. cooking at 5.45. Lunch, brunch, and dinner. And to finish it about what? 10, low. 10 30. It ain't no dinner because this is dinner. Stop the cap. Good golly. I mean that that's cool, right? Because a lot goes into holiday meals, and that's what she did. But holiday season. Stay tuned. Like I said, the fellas will be over here eating this delicious food tomorrow, probably. So we'll probably pop on for a little bit so you can see us uh, enjoying the fruits of Miss Sabrina's labor. We definitely appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Mad respect. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all too. <laughs>
All right, y'all. Anyways, I will probably do a show on Sunday. I got so much to talk about. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow, does anybody go to church service tomorrow? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, if you're looking for a church, uh, eleven p eleven a.m. New Horizon. Oh Baptist goodness, church. eleven p.m. Eleven a.m. You can turn that. Church. <laughs> eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. It's awesome. It's an hour night short service. Where's the location? It is at forty. Uh, it's at forty forty Wheaton Way. So if you know where the KFC is, right across the street from the transit center, it's right. Go straight back, and you'll see uh, West Sound Technical or West Sound Treatment. They're on the second floor. What's it called again? Uh, New Horizon uh, Baptist. I'm trying Michigan. to get myself in there too, y'all. My kids, uh, the pastor and his wife are good people, family, good people. I I just enjoy having conversations with them. Mm -hmm. So I think it would be nice to you know fellowship and yeah, get in there and yeah. and uh, and grow a little. Um, what they call a church service of people? Yeah. yeah. Oh no! What did they call it? Yeah, church service. Yeah. No, people. The people in the, the church. Congregation. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> but what's so cool too is he's really about you know outreach and doing community stuff. Like he and I, uh, we're talking today, so we're going to do something really cool uh, with Martita through uh, Mesa Redonda and kayak. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Redonda. <laughs> <laughs> Thrill your arms. Okay, come on now. <laughs> Every time you talk, I'm like, come on. So, anyway, we'll, we'll be back. You know, I can't hit the end music because it's like way across. Where that? Hold up. Hold up. Light blue. Light blue, shorty. Get the light blue. Oh. Um. This one. Yeah. There you go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? It's, I know y'all gonna miss. The music is like a two minutes long. There you go. Put your headphones on so you can hear that beautiful music. That's a microphone. You can't hear. I, don't I can't know. believe I didn't tear up food like I usually do. I know. Well, you know, we did. We ate a lot, right? There you go. Get it, girl. Just kidding. But I'm not because it's been a good day. Yeah. And I'm about to go to sleep soon. That's it. Work it out, girl. Work it out. Running man, robot, cabbage patch. Get your floss on. <laughs> that's not actually the floss. Wow. I think that's the twist. <laughs> you know how to do, uh, can you line dance? Like McLeod's line dance? You gonna do the Carlton? What's my clouds? Oh wait, no, that's not nice. They're actually a good place. Let yeah. me stop playing. Do you know how to line dance? What? Do you know how to line dance? No. Do they do that? No. My clouds is actually uh, it's a it's a cool place to go to. I didn't mean to say that. I just say that because I don't need to be hanging out or anything like that. But to go and have you know some nice fellowship is anywhere of the night and eat and then chill with some you know people without all the extra stuff. That's cool. And toes. All right, Joe. For Good Sabrina, night. I'm on one camera. We'll see you next see time. Ya. Why are you still here? I said, see ya. <laughs>